you want to climb to the top of the mountain, don't you? But which path will you take to get there? And will it change based on who's standing in your way? Nothing. You want to climb to the top of the mountain, don't you? But which path will you take to get there? And will it change based on who's standing in your way? Seven Madden NFL pros. And seven NFL rookies. They know all the plays and how to elevate their game when it matters the most. Here we go, let's Madden. Their perspective is different. But in this tournament, the pressure is all the same. Win and go on, or lose and go home. Oh my goodness. There could only be one left at the top. Who will be the last man standing? This is King of the Hill. Hello, hello, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day and hope you're ready for a fun night because here we are for Madden Tuesday night. Before we get started with the game, let's take a quick look inside the Snickers Player Lounge at our competitors tonight. On the top, our NFL rookies, we've got Caleb on Chasen of the Jaguars in Jacksonville and Henry Ruggs III of the Las Vegas Raiders. And then on the bottom, you can see our Madden pros, Pavin, preparing to take on Clef the God. All right, everybody, I said it once, I'm going to say it twice. Hope you are ready for a fun evening because we have a lot in store for you. I'm Charlie Arnold here to take you through the next three hours of competition. We've got three hours. And that means three great matches. And guess what? We are switching things up just a little bit this week. Instead of starting with the Madden Pros in our King of the Hill tournament, we're going to begin with our NFL rookies. Henry Ruggs, who you just saw, is our defending champion in the current King of the Hill. This week, he's going to have to defend his title against Caleb on Chasen, a defensive end and linebacker drafted out of LSU. And that will be our first match. In the second game, we continue the King of the Hill competition for our Madden Pros. This week, our current king, Pavin, is taking on Clef the God. And finally, everything is building up to Derwin James versus the world presented by Oakley at 10 o'clock Eastern. Derwin James is going to be taking on Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish after completely dismantling, if you saw it, you know what I'm talking about, his first two opponents. So that's what we've got coming up over the course of the next three hours here on Madden Tuesday night. So now that you have that rundown, let's take a little second to recap just how we got here. Last week, Pavin defeated Young Kiv in a really close game that came down to the wire. They traded touchdowns with Pavin holding a 10 to 6 lead late in the third quarter before Kiv was able to push ahead in this game. Then, with everything tied up at 13, Pavin's interception and field goal gave him a 16 to 13 edge, which he was able to hold on to with another great interception with just a minute left in the game. A lot of stiff competition here, but Pavin would move on, and here he is playing this week. So this week's match, it has Pavin going up against Clef the God, and as you can see, the winner has to face reigning Madden Bowl champion Joke next week. Also coming up are Sirius Mo and also Drini. Now let's move on to the NFL rookie side of things. Last week, Henry Ruggs III from the Raiders continued his reign of king, as king of the hill with a dominating win over Cam Akers from the Rams. Now Ruggs has not lost yet. He has not even been close to losing. And at this pace, you guys, we might just have to put him over in our Madden Pros bracket as well because he is something else, especially on defense because the final score here was 30 to zip. Next up for Ruggs is the aforementioned Kayla Von Chasen. And then waiting in the wings, we've got Kenneth Murray, Jerry Judy, who is a former teammate of Henry Ruggs at Alabama. And then finally, we've got C.D. Lamb. So now without further ado, it is time to get things started. And for that, we're going to toss it over to our casting duo of Nick Mazesco and one great user. Guys, 
what you got. Charlie, thank you so much. Well, it has been a fun first two weeks, but it's getting down to the nitty gritty here in week number three. Nick Mazesco alongside the reigning defending Carolina Panthers club champion, one great user. Let's get into it. Let's see who we've got taking on uh, our champion. Now, let's start out with our champion. It is, of course, Henry Ruggs III, Alabama Crimson Tide. And, of course, now with the Las Vegas Raiders, he is 2-0 after wins over A.J. Terrell and last week a dominant win over Cam Akers. But this week he's got himself a new challenger. It is former LSU Tiger and current Jacksonville Jaguar, Kayla Vaughn Chase on. He's stepping up to the plate defensive end. User, this should be a hard fought battle. Yeah, it should be, you know, but Henry, he's been looking good over the past couple weeks. I, I, I really don't know if anybody can beat him. You know, hopefully Caleb Vaughn can, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully a little bit of rivalry from, you know, the, the LSU and Alabama. Hopefully somebody can rise up because the way Henry kicked in my man Cam Akers head last week, whew, it's a tough matchup trying to play Henry right now. Well, let's get to know these players a little better. Joining us now is your two-time defending champ, still the king of the hill, Henry Ruggs III, and the challenger this week out of LSU, current Jacksonville Jaguar, Caleb on Chase on. Gentlemen, first of all, thank you so much for joining us. Henry, let's start with you. How high is your confidence right now, knowing you are 2-0 and after a dominant win last week over Cam Akers? No, uh, it's, it's definitely up there, but got to keep it going. On the flip side, uh, Kayla Vaughn coming in, you've been able to see a little bit of what Henry's been able to do, two wins in a row. Uh, do you feel like there's any pressure on you right now to get that win and knock him off his throne, or are you just playing loose and free because you've got nothing to lose? I'm just playing my game. Uh, I can control what I control. I can't worry about what he did against anybody else because that ain't me. You're right, Kay. You can't worry about that. You know, he coming in here on his high horse. He done beat Cam 0-30. to 30. He, done, he on top of King of the Hill two weeks in a row. It's your job to knock him off his high horse. It's your job to step up there and take the throne from him. Don't worry about what he did last week. I'm here to help you. Even though I might not pick you, I'm still here to help you. You understand what I'm saying? Nah, we can't. We can't understand that. But I'm going to let you slide on that one today. Uh, well, Henry, go ahead, send that invite. Let's get this game underway. Before we get there, we got to get to our tradition that is this week as to uh, what we've begun to call who does user get saddled with as the mush? Uh, user, you're one and one, though. Is the mush gone? First, before you make your pick, is the mush dead and gone with that pick last week? Nick, as you see the position where EA has put me in, no matter who I pick, you know what I'm saying, they feel like I'm going against them. It's, they hold animosity towards me the whole game. Like, nah, he ain't believe in me. He believe I'm trash. I don't want to hear nothing he got to say to me. You know, it's been two weeks, three weeks now. Henry, I'm like, hey, have we moved past the first week when I didn't pick you? I'm hoping we have. You know what I'm saying? And now K coming in here like, nah, I don't understand. If you don't pick me, I don't want to hear nothing that you got to say. But at the end of the day, I got a job to do. And my job is to pick a winner. And on the opposite end, it's going to be a loser. That's just how life works. So I'm going to go with Henry again. No disrespect to my man K. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying Henry looks the best right now. And I'm going to roll with it. You feel me? Well, let's be clear. You are uh, undefeated when picking Henry Rugg. So... You got that going for you. That's pretty good. I know the people at home, there's a lot of negativity online. Do you think it's because people are jealous of your ability to make such stellar picks? Of course it is, Nick. You know what I'm saying? I hear the hate no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm winning or losing, you know what I'm saying? They just don't, they hate to see me win. They hate to see me win. They mad I'm the Carolina Panthers club champ. They mad that I rolled last week with Henry. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I didn't know where to go from the first one. And Henry sold me. Really, my first L shouldn't even, be, shouldn't even count. Because Henry hustled me. He told me he don't play the game, but he played the game. I'm like, what that mean? What that mean? You know what I'm saying? Come to find out. Henry really plays the game. He's a baller. Well, that baller is at the top of the throne right now as we head inside Pizza Hut Stadium. Will Henry Ruggs move to 3-0 and oh and keep his throne, or will Caleb on chase on take the throne, snatch it from his hands? Jags and Raiders, we are underway. And it is going to be Henry Ruggs getting the ball to start the game. And you know what, user? I, I sort of feel like 
Uh, even though Henry Ruggs is he's a wide receiver, he's a burner. I feel like defensively is his strength here in the game of Madden. Yeah, Henry, you know, he, he's been playing solid defense over the last couple of weeks. But to be honest, what I've seen Henry been separating him, it's his stick. Henry has real good user. As this game that's underway, we'll see if Henry Ruggs changes his offense at all from his first two wins of the tournament. How about Kalehan Chase? He's the D lineman. Hey, okay, I see you. That's how you coming out. Bring in the thunder. Mm -mm. Bring the thunder. Bring in the lightning. Bringing the entire thunderstorm here on the interior of that line. Caleb on chase on first round pick out of LSU. Pick number 20 by that Jacksonville Jaguars team. The user, I'm not going to lie. You look at that Jags defense. I feel like they are building around Caleb Vaughn. He's a young, hungry player that's going to lead that defensive line for years. Ooh. I like how Caleb on, you know, it seems to look like he's waiting to see what Henry is choosing. And that's a sign of a good Madden player, not just picking a play, picking a defense before you see what the offense comes out in, Nick. Yeah, not not even asking Madden. That's that's how you know that this is some real time competition. He goes into the nickel double A gap, trying to bring some heat on the Henry Ruggs offense. He'll drop out of that four-man rush. It's okay. Wilson outside the pocket. Gonna hit that dot. down oh, the he field. He's, he's gonna not going to throw him. He got a great block down the field to pick up the first down. Henry, Henry I thought you was going to try Caleb Von Stick right there. It looked like you wanted to hit that crosser. Nah, he, 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 had, he played it. That's why I mean you're getting better week by week because the first week, you would have threw that in there and tried to force it. Yeah, you right. Remember, it was 10-7 last second field goal win for Henry in week one over AJ Terrell. He followed that up with a 30 0 dominant performance over Cam Akers. Now he's looking to put a touch on the board. It's great right Gaffrey. And it went to swerve and hit him for the end zone. It's a crib shot for Henry Ruggs. Boy, Henry That's nice. why he's the champ. That boy Henry nice. That boy Henry nice. Winding and weaving like a mountain road to the house. This guy, right, Cam, you've been down before. You can fight. You can fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for you. Don't worry about it. We're going to see what you put together on this first drive. See if you can cook up. I don't know if you can hear that, user, but uh, I think I think Kay's getting a call from Cam Aker saying, ignore that guy. First offensive drive here. For K. Levon Chase on Henry Ruggs, he's been user. He's been stellar defensively these first two weeks. He has, he has. Three wide set. Okay. Oh, nice read. Oh, baby, let me, let me fly around. Now K. Been playing this game. That's a nice read, K. Let me find out you've been playing this game. Okay, coming out in the bunch. First down at 10. Oh, he motion, trying to get a little, okay, a little window dressing, a little window dressing. Toss. The bubble gum, the little bubble gum out there? A little, little bubble gum action, a little bubble gum. <laughs> Seven nothing, Henry Ruggs on top. I know everyone in Las Vegas excited to see what Henry Ruggs does. For that Raiders offense, a four two seven forty. Uh, user, what's your forty time? Like a four two eight? My uh, no, 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 not no four two eight. You know, when I was actually you know playing ball in college and all that, I ran a four five. Yeah, me too. Oh my goodness! Five seconds picked off. It's oh Stephon Gilmore with the pick. Oh my. Henry Ruggs is a defensive oh machine. Put this another six does. on the board. This is what it's he does. already pick a two fixes. score lead. Okay, K. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, come on, bro. I hope you record this. God. It be freezing on my field goal. User, I think that kick lag's getting to him. Yeah, that, that, kick, that kick meter will lag on you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's programmed in there or if it just happens because to me, it happens to me a lot. Like I said, the first week, 
when uh, Henry made that kick, I'm like, I don't think he make it, you know, because I would have missed it, but he made it. All right. How do you bounce back from this, user? Already down 14 nothing. You just threw a touchdown to the wrong team. I don't know. I don't know how he bounced back, but Henry plays such great defense, and it seemed like he's all. It's, other than that first week, he's always in a position where he's up to play comfortable. And you know, the game is a lot different when you up and you can just play comfortable and not have to worry. You know. Yeah, that first week, uh, Henry Ruggs was certainly Ben don't break defense, forced a couple red zone turnovers against AJ Terrell. But since Play then, action. it's been just break okay. the hearts and okay. souls Good of read. the other team. What a laser there <laughs> from Caleb on Chase on. That's a dot, K. I see you. That's a dot. Goes back to work on offense. Dan Marino at the helm gives it to Bo Jackson. Bo knows where to go. Look at him fight forward for yards. Henry, do you feel like you got to get a big stop right here? I know you got to pick six, but I know, you know, I don't know if you really feel like, well, you know, I'm good because I got to pick six. But at the end of the day, you did get the ball first. Do you feel like this drive is very important too? Oh, drive is important. I got to get a stop. Man. For, for a rookie. He sure sounds like and a veteran out there. And I got it. <clears throat> he goes, he's got the book and he's got it. It's the fun. Oh my no the other way. And he makes a move around the outside. This isn't an instant replay. Wow. Play. This is just it happening one more time. Deja vu for Henry Ruggs. Wow. The flood is on. Wow. Okay, okay, Henry. I want to know, how did you know he was getting ready to throw the book before he threw the book because I asked you and you said, oh, I got it, I got it, and here come one right now. How did you know? You just feel like you knew he was going to throw you the bread. Nah, I had the check down cover. I got the use on the check down. He, knew, uh, he only had one other place to go. So you saying K just ain't smart enough to throw the ball away and take the sack? Nah, I just, I saw that one. Plenty of time left. 3.43 to go in the first. All right, Kay, look, we down 21-0. We do not want to repeat it last week. You know what I'm saying? You got your boy Henry over there. He talking before the play. He already feel like you throwing books before you throw the books. We got to do something. We got to make good reads and make sure we take care of this ball. You know, what's the good way to not throw any books, Usner? Hand the ball off. I have never seen an interception thrown on a handoff, and I don't think I will. Throws it to the flat. Christian McCaffrey. Okay. I hit him with a spin cycle. Christian McCaffrey. That's good for a Jaguars. 21 to nothing. 21's great. And Blackjack, it's even better for the current Las Vegas Raider, Henry Ruggs the third out of Alabama. You know, he learned how to win from Nick Saban. He's learned how to win here in the game of Madden from one great user. User, the mush might officially be – I might not allow anyone to call you the mush ever again if Ruggs yeah. holds on to this way. It's looking like that. Hey, but, Kay, let me give you a tip before you come out on this second and ten, a second and nine. Press the right bumper in or the right stick in if you need to throw the ball away. Press the right stick in. Basic Madden tips from our man, one great user. Oh, I my God. The it's Levante oh, David my God. going the other way. Oh, oh Can he find another touchdown? He'll be taken down to the 36-yard line. Listen, Nick, it's, it's not like I knew he was going to throw a book, but something in my gut said he was going to throw a book. That's why I tried to tell him, throw the ball away before you throw a book. User, uh... There are enough books oh, here in this first half it. Oh. Uh, to, to make a small library. Oh, that's dang. that's how many books there are. Come on, man. We got we got to do better than that. And here's what I here's what I love about Henry user. Even up twenty one nothing, he's looking to be better. He's not complacent at all. Up oh, bubble oh gum. Goodness, the end around. Oh, what a tackle. He's throwing hey, one Kay, pass. remember, I'm here, bro. You need any tips, man. I'm here. Henry over there, he, he don't care. He's going to try to blow your doors off in front of everybody now. He's not shy about it either. <laughs> he's, he's very comfortable doing it. Third down and seven. Two tight ends set. 
As Russell Wilson drops back, waiting, looking, pressure up the middle, just gets rid of it. Just he down. finds Hall, can't stay inbound, but he'll pick up three and avoid the sack. Hey, Henry looking real good out here, Nick. You know, not forcing the ball in the coverage, not so taking the sack, that, nah. getting his check down late. You saw that, though. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that. So you was really wanting to catch it right there, and you saying the momentum drove you out of bounds, right? I'm trying to see how. You just about to just stand and catch it. Don't even move. All right, user. Let's let's twenty-four nothing. You've seen what Henry Ruggs can do. Let's 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 put the defending Panthers Club champion in the shoes of a challenger here in the King of the Hill tournament. How would you defeat a guy like Henry Ruggs? What would be your game plan? If if I was playing Henry Ruggs and I was down 24-0, the first thing I would do is test and see if he has inside zone defense out of shotgun. That's what I'm not. I'm not telling K to do that, but I'm just saying I would test the inside zone to make sure he has some run defense. Dan Marino there showing off the wheels, picking up nine. Second and one. Well, stick concept. Nice read there from Caleb on. A well, touchdown before half user. It would definitely do something for the confidence. Oh my goodness. There he goes. Throws one That's away. a good play, K. That's a good play. That's a good play. You know, it's better to throw the ball away than to throw a book. I don't know, user. I, how do you think Henry would stand up against the MCS competition? I feel like he might have a career in the game of Madden if he ever decides okay. football isn't for him. Okay, okay. It, him right. will be all right. Him will be all right in the MCS. I mean, he's not bad. He has good users. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes he makes bad play uh, bad uh, play calls. But like I said, the past couple best past couple weeks, uh -uh. his reads have been getting better. His defense has been getting tighter. I think he'll be all right. I want to see a Henry Ruggs ah. versus Henry Leverett Madden matchup. Oh, a little oh, flat nice. pass by nice. Gronk. Trucks Casper the friendly ghost and finds his way to the 25-yard line. He got three timeouts. Make sure you use them wisely. Use them wisely, K. All right, you coaching now. You coaching now. <laughs> now I'm coaching Henry. He said, now you coaching. Now, now you coaching. Henry, you up 24-0. I can't throw the man a rope. Uh-uh. The game ain't no. Oh, what? <laughs> so I'm just supposed to sit here and let you just blow everybody in. Blow everybody out week in and week out. They, they told me if I see a man drowning, I'm trying, they need me to save him out here, Henry. Now you telling me you want me to just sit there and let you blow him out. That's a hey. good ring, Kay. Kay nah, is get, not out of this one. Now, nah, but don't, don't. You... Get, a little, <laughs> get a little deep in there now. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I'm getting a little bit too deep, huh? Yeah, you're getting a little too deep. That's all. <laughs> the kick, though, is no oh, good. My goodness. 24 to 6. That's got to be a huge <laughs> touchdown for the Morales on the side of the Jacksonville Jaguars DN. Hey, Nick, as you see, Henry just want me to sit here and let him blow whoever he playing completely out. Yeah. Don't say nothing. All I said was make sure you use your timeouts wisely. Hey, you're coaching. You're doing too much. You're doing too much now. I think, uh, I think, if, if, listen, he's in the, he's in the field of, when you see a man drowning, what do you do? You pull more water on him. He's not looking for you to throw a lifesaver out there. He's got the flood going. Hand off to Christian McCaffrey. Can Henry find a lane? Taking out the 25 yard line. I'm out taking two left with nine ticks left in the first half. Second and six. Wilson. The nice left read. side. Boy, those, nice are the, read. those are the little, what I'll call pro reads. Using the reads they, that, they are. That, they, that you see made at the professional level. You're right. That is a pro read, Nick. For him not to try to force that down the field. So many players with four seconds left, they would sit there and try to force a play. And most of the time, they'll put themselves in a bad predicament. And as you see, like I said, Henry's been playing smarter and smarter. 
as the weeks go by. Well, it has been a certainly interesting first half here of our King of the Hill game. So far, the king lives. Henry Ruggs with a dominant first half performance. He is up 24 to 6. For a look at what is happening in the rest of the tournament, let's throw it to our good friend, Charlie. Charlie? Nick, 24 to 6. I mean, can Henry Ruggs lose? I don't know if he can. At this point, it doesn't seem like he can, but I will tell you my little dog over here, she was just whining. Even she feels bad for Caleb on. So hopefully he can step it up in the second half. But guys, remember the winner of this match isn't done yet. If it's Henry Ruggs, he'll have to go up against Kenneth Murray of the LA Chargers next week. And if you don't know, Kenneth Murray was a first round pick linebacker out of Oklahoma. And the Sooners, they gave up 38 points in an upset loss to Kansas State a few days ago. So you can imagine that they are definitely feeling his absence. Now, later tonight, Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish is going to be the celebrity guest on Derwin James versus the World. Derwin has absolutely decimated his rapper opponents, Lil Baby and Quavo, the past two weeks. So let's see if maybe a country music star can give him a bit of a challenge instead. And don't forget, right after this match, we'll have our second hour of King of the Hill competition as the Madden Pros, Pavin, and Clef the God square off. Now, you can see here they're getting some last-minute preparations in right now. And current King Pavin, he burst onto the scene two seasons ago. He won the club championship with the Raiders. And then last season, he qualified in the 16th and final spot of the Madden Bowl and took it all the way to the Final Four. He has already bagged $4,000 after his win last week against Young Kiv, but it's his path to getting here and where he wants to take his career that really sets him apart from many of the other MCS competitors. My brand, I just say it's Pavin. I'm just trying to grow myself to a household name and it's not just from Madden it's not just from these gameplays or whatever it may be I'm trying to implement gaming and lifestyle I'm East Indian descent my parents were born and raised in India so I'm the first generation in America and you know I take that with a lot of pride and you know I want to make them super proud at first it wasn't always you know I'm gonna be a you know pro gamer uh, a lot of the times with Indian heritage you gotta go super, super hard in school and you know, try to live up to the stereotype is a doctor or engineer or something. My mom was super anti-gaming and you know, she always thought of it as something was a hobby. And the first time, you know, she kind of turned sides, switched sides is when I was around 18, I competed in my first ever tournament, which was the Madden NFL 18 Club Series Championship. And when she saw me on Twitch, when she saw me on that big stage, She's like, oh my God, like she, things just completely switched like that. Before I won my first initial big tournament in Madden 19, I competed in a lot of home tournaments. I played in those and I finally won one of them. And I was so hyped. I came in the Discord screaming, I won, I won, I finally won one. And all my friends were happy for me. And that was just a joy that, you know, I never had felt before. And when I had done that, it just led me to go harder in the MCS. So it always, you know, comes across my mind, can I make history? Can I make a legacy out of this? Can I have the best Madden season out of anyone ever to play Madden? My mom used to always hide my controllers or hide my game systems. And now she's like, oh, why would I ever do that now? Just thinking about how, how far I've come. And they're super supportive and they keep me pushing. And that's why I do it. I do it a lot for my family, my friends and my supporters. You know, I, I always try to, you know, give these tournament wins to my family in their name and their honor. Such a cool story. What a way to go, Pavin. Way to go, Mom. You can see Pavin, he may be young, but he is a true professional. Very mature. I like it. I like it. That match coming up next hour. But first, let's get you back to the action with the second half of Henry Ruggs versus Caleb on Chase. And so, Nick, back to you. Twenty-four to six. It has been all Henry Ruggs in this one, but there's one benefit for Caleb on Chase, and he starts off with the ball here in the second half. Oh, He's gonna take a, a shot downfield, and that's Henry Ruggs' defense—it's a no-fly zone user. There is no sort of way for you to get any ball downfield against Henry Ruggs the third. 
Henry is out here just playing great defensive stick. You know, that's what he's been showing every weekend, week in, week out. All these picks, pick six, that's what he does. User, here's something we haven't had to talk about a whole lot. Clock management, at what point do you think Henry turns on that two clock and just goes, all right, I've got 3-0 and in the bag. Let's make this game shorter. I don't know. You know, pretty much that feature is, is all automatic. And if Henry, if he stays true to who, he, who he's been the last couple weeks, he's going to try to blow Caleb on doors all the way off. No need for any sort of doors on this one. 24 to 6. <laughs> it has been all our defending champ. Remember, he played in that first game a couple weeks ago, and he has not lost since then. And might we see? I don't know about you, user. It's it's toughest to be the first one to play in a King of the Hill style because you have to win the most games to stay on top of it. But man, I'm starting to believe Henry Ruggs might just be that kind of player. Henry might just be, man, you know, he's the type of guy you see, he, he's not afraid of whoever plays on week in and week out, he's ready. Every week he's preparing, he's coming back ready. Wilson underneath, diving catch by Hall on second and seven, he'll pick up a couple, and by a couple, we mean absolutely nothing. But Henry, my question for you, do you start trying to lab a little bit since you up like 18? Do you just like, well, you know, let me try a couple new things here. You Are you still, in the mode right now, let's be very efficient and get these points. Mm -hmm. Got to maintain what we got. Ain't no, don't change up. Living by the mantra of it, it's not over until it's over. Third and seven. Wilson outside of the pocket. Good oh, coverage. Oh, that's a dot if he throw field. it. Oh, nah, he ran back on. Third down. Get to me. Donald. Oh, fourth and short. Decision time. Fourth and inch. Are you going for it? Are you going for it? You gonna let him hang? What's going on? Okay. Mm. Let him hang. Ooh, let him hang. Line. He's going for it. He's going for it, man. If I was, if I was Cad, be run committing here. I'm not sure Kate knows how to run commit. Fourth and short. It's a fullback dive. It's Miller down to the 19 yard line. Only needed about a football length. He picked up three. What a performance. What an absolute performance from Henry Ruggs. Took down Cam Akers, took down AJ Terrell, and right now he is in great position. And user, he's starting to use that entire third quarter clock. Mm hmm. Play action. Uh, now, now he's going for it. And he's going to take off with Russell Wilson. The mobility of Russell Wilson has been killer today. Henry is just taking what he gets, he's not forcing no bad throws. I and mean, he looks a lot different from week one. He looks a lot different from week one. Week one, it certainly felt like, uh, user, as we were watching that game against AJ Terrell, he certainly was trying to force that ball to his own player on the field. Now, after a couple of games, the offense has opened up, and he's, he's really much more patient offensively. Oh, yeah. Henry, do you feel like your game has just gotten better as, as the week's gone by? Because, you know, the first week, I'm going to be honest, you weren't playing this efficient. You know, you weren't making these smart reads, taking off with your quarterback. You know, I, I think you're getting better as the weeks go by. You just kind of feel like A.J. was a different caliber player than the players you played the last couple weeks. Man, yeah, A.J., when you're playing, you just get a feel for, for what you, what I need to do, what what I do best. He is answering oh, come this on. question on his way to the end zone. They're going to call him just short of the goal line. Fours up in the chat. We're going to the fourth quarter. Still all Henry Ruggs, 24 to 6. And mm, then just easy a money. That was easy. User, I could, I could have scored that. Touchdown. I'm no good. Morton Anderson on for the extra point. Extra point is up. It is good. 31 to 6. User, I know you haven't been in too many of these situations. Down big in a key game. But when you're when you're on the on the losing side of this battle, what are you trying to do here with the last four minutes of the game? Are you labbing new plays? Are you just trying to get the game over with as quickly as you can? Uh right now, it, it all depends on the situation. If 
if you know, I know I have more life left in the tournament and, and, and I have things that I should work on. I will probably be trying to see where did I make my bad decisions? Is, was it because of the pressure and I made bad reads? Or, or was it, you know, what, what was it? Taking a shot. That shot's into double coverage. That's picked off going the other way. Eric Weddle. Oh, this defense has been like a prison. A lockdown out there for Henry Ruggs. He is destined right now, user, to go to 3 0. Henry, do you show mercy and kind of run the ball and try to get out of here, or are you trying to embarrass the guy right now? Hey, just, just play the win. <laughs> you play the win, embarrass him, huh? Best part about the game of football, it's not over until there are zeros on the clock, and Lord knows we've seen some crazy stuff happen. First and 15. Oh, it's that was too early. That might have been the prettiest no-gain run, loss of half a yard I've ever seen, user. Yeah. Second and 12. Rugs keep the pressure on. Nice. Ooh. That's a hot one. Another That's a hot over one. over the middle. That's a hot one. Hot dot. Served up. It's like the opposite of dipping dots. They're hot dots. Served you know, up by know, Henry Ruggs. If it was in my stream, you know, we'll, we'll call that a hot dotty. I love a good hot dotty. Who doesn't? <laughs> it is. It's. It's been. It's been like. Uh, like. Uh, what is it? The Trans Siberian Orchestra. It's been. It's just been lasers all over the place. Mm -hmm. Non-stop lasers from Henry Ruggs the third, looking to move on. Go to three and zero here in the King of the Hill. A valiant fight from Caleb on Chase on, but just too much defense from Henry Ruggs. Oh my God. Two ten to go. They take us down to the two minute warning. Balls in motion from right to left, but we'll let this one run down to the two minute warning. User, this one might have been over about two quarters yeah. ago. Now it's almost official. Yeah, it, it was over a while ago. Sound like some, somebody done pulled up their YouTube. They already know it was over. That's how you know it's bad. That's that's how you know a game is bad. It's when you when Netflix comes on and there's no time on the clock. I, I'm wondering is that Henry? They, they, I'm wondering is that Henry or is that K? Oh, what you doing? Henry Ruggs is looking for perfection. He's not looking to get cheated even up 31 to six. As you see, K, he ain't even. K ain't even burn his timeouts. I think K just ready to get out of here, man. He's ready to go. Lock ticks down. 35 seconds and counting until the merciful end of this game. Sometimes you're just on the on the side of just just the side you don't want to be on. Some sometimes the game just don't go your way. As you see, K, he ain't even want to call no timeouts or nothing, man. He's just like, hey, man, this is a wrap. Almost zeros on the clock. And he takes the snap. He's going for one last touchdown. A little flex at the end. And Henry Ruggs moves to 3-0, and oh, user. What a performance from our champ. <laughs> It's time for the biggest moment of the game, which means it's time for our Snickers replay. And I got it. And I got it. He goes, he's got the book and he's got it. It's the fun. Oh no goodness. more the other way. And he makes a move around the outside. This isn't an instant replay. Wow. Play. This is just it happening one more time. Deja vu for Henry Ruggs. Wow. The flood is on. Wow. Let's bring in our two competitors. Gentlemen, a hard-fought game. Let's start with you, Henry. Once again, it seemed like even though you are a wide receiver, one of the fastest men on the planet, it's been your defense that has set the tone each and every game here in the King of the Hill tournament. Yeah, I did a 
can't let them score. I, I feel like I got to score more than them. But if I stop them from scoring, I feel like my offense going is going to do what they need to do. Yeah, Henry, this is your second week getting the interceptions, pick sixes to the crib. But I noticed at the end of the game, you just kind of chewed the clock out. You, you kind of feel like, all right, man, you know, this is enough. I ain't going to beat his head in too bad. Let me just go ahead and get up out of here. Nah, you just it, we still playing the game. You don't want to do nothing crazy and, and, you know, get a game away. So got to play smart, play football. I feel you. Kay, do you feel like you kind of threw the game away when you first started with that pick and it was just hard for you to rally back? Or you just felt like Henry just played a better game than you today? Nah, I feel like he had the better game today. So, sometimes you're just not on the right end. Uh, Caleb, I think I think the question we're all wondering is, are you are you gonna keep playing the game of Madden? Are you are you excited to maybe get more chance to uh, use yourself in the game, or uh, after this loss, are you putting the game away for a while? <laughs> I think I'll probably pick the sticks up in a few. Uh, not right now, though. Well, Henry, you, you move uh, you move on, and uh, I'm gonna ask you the, the same thing that I keep asking you. How's your confidence level now? You're three and zero, and you're just a couple wins away from taking the title. Uh, it's it's definitely rising even more. You know, I feel like I feel like I just got to keep it going though. I got well, a couple more games, so I got to get there. Uh, Caleb on Chase on, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking time and playing, uh, and, and looking to take down Henry Ruggs. But Henry Ruggs, you are our champion once again, and another challenger, another foe appears on the horizon. It is Kenneth Murray that is coming up next week. You're not going to want to miss that. For more on what's coming up, let's throw it back to Charlie. Charlie? Pizza Hut. Order now at PizzaHut.com. And in part by Gillette. Go all out with an exclusive offer on NFL Team Razors at Gillette.com slash Madden. And in part by Snickers. Maybe you just need a Snickers. The pan. The myth. The legend. The comfort food that started it all. The original pan from Pizza Hut for just $10.99. No one out pizzas the hut. Gillette Pro Glide and Pro Glide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you start the day with a clean shave and a clean face. the ball looking downfield he's gonna have to hurdle the tiny trike look at him tiptoe free oh what a spin move this tad will not be denied his hearty meat and veg campbell's chunky soup that eats like a meal matt i think i got my fantasy nights mixed up hey bill hey matt yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go you sure yeah snickers satisfies
Welcome on back to Madden Tuesday Nights. We're going to get you to our Madden Pros matchup coming up next. It's Pavin taking on Clef the God. You know, Pavin won $4,000 last week. This is a $6,000 game of Madden coming up. He wants that win, but Clef, he's got other plans in mind. Uh, his football IQ has been ingrained in him since he was in diapers. I mean, that's unbelievable. He's a former high school football coach and a student of the game. And he's hoping that the football knowledge propels him to King of the Hill and his first ever MCS belt in this upcoming season. <laughs> Football means everything to me. You know, that's how I was raised. My dad has been coaching my whole life, pretty much. You know, I met so many great people playing football. And like my family, like, that's how we bonded. You know, we bonded by working out together. Uh, just hanging out together, watching football. My dad had me started in coaching when I was probably 12 years old. But I was playing football and coaching like a team below us at the same time. So just seeing him and just seeing the impact he had on everybody's lives and how much he loved the game, it just inspired me to coach. I got into Madden when I was probably two or three years old. You know, my dad played the game a lot. So by the time I was like seven, eight, I was beating his, his older friends, you know, friends who was his age. And then in Madden 09, when I was 12, I made a Final Four at Claris Bowl in Philadelphia at one of the biggest tournaments of the year. That kind of just got me to where I am now. Clef the God, looking, firing for the end zone, and it's picked off! And Noah has done it. He is your Madden NFL 20 Challenge Champion. It's hard. It's, it's the hardest thing. You know, me, how I was raised, I'd rather lose early. You know, you want to lose late because of the money, but like just, it, it hurts worse to lose when you're so close. It has me depressed for weeks. You know, I'm still not over it, honestly. I probably will coach again. You know, I really miss, if there's one downside to this, it's, it's missing out on coaching. I miss impacting kids and just giving back to the game. That's a passion of mine, just like Madden. So hopefully I can, hopefully I can get right back into it and, and get back into coaching. I don't know where we are. Getting ready for their match. You know, Klaus hoping to do what Joke did last year and win his first MCS belt. But could he become king of the hill in the meantime? That match is coming up next. Guys, don't forget that starting on Tuesday, November 10th, We've got the biggest tournament of the year. The, the tournament everyone looks forward to, the Madden 21 Club Championship. It kicks off on Tuesday, November 10th. Pavin, he's a former winner here. He took home 100K in Madden 19. So he and many others will be vying for their share of a $750,000 prize pool. Coverage begins at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're not going to want to miss out on that. Another thing that's coming up, guys, remember, we are just a few days away from the Apex Legends Global Series Autumn Circuit. Coverage starts Monday, October 5th at 9.45 a.m. Pacific time on Twitch. It's going to be the best Apex players in their respective regions as they compete for their share of a $500,000 prize pool. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more from King of the Hill after this quick break. King of the Hill is brought to you in part by Pizza Hut. Order now at PizzaHut.com. And in part by Gillette. Go all out with an exclusive offer on NFL Team Razors at Gillette.com slash Madden. And in part by Snickers. Maybe you just need a Snickers. The pan. The myth. The legend. The comfort food that started it all. The original pan from Pizza Hut for just $10.99. No one out pizzas the hut. Gillette Pro Glide and Pro Glide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you start the day with a clean shave and a clean face. He's 
got the ball. Looking downfield. He's going to have to hurdle the tiny trike. Look at him tiptoe free. Oh, what a spin move. This tad will not be denied his hearty meat and veg. Campbell's chunky soup that eats like a meal. Matt, I think I got my fantasy nights mixed up. Hey, Bill. Hey, Matt. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. You sure? Yeah. Snickers satisfies. You want to climb to the top of the mountain, don't you? But which path will you take to get there? And will it change based on who's standing in your way? Seven Madden NFL pros. And seven NFL rookies. They know all the plays. And how to elevate their game. When it matters the most. Here we go, let's Madden. Their perspective is different. But in this tournament, the pressure is all the same. Win and go on, or lose and go home. Oh my goodness. There could only be one left at the top. Who will be the last man standing? This is Team of the Hill.
Hello, everybody. Welcome on back to King of the Hill. I'm your host, Charlie Arnold. We're just a couple of minutes away from our second match of the day between Madden Pros, Pavin, and Clef the God. But first, let's get you caught up on everything that you might have missed so far. In our first match of the day, Henry Ruggs III, the Raiders rookie wide receiver, beat up on Jags rookie linebacker Caleb on Chasen. This one wasn't close at all, and at this point, Ruggs looks like he's in total control of this gauntlet with some very impressive performances. Now, next week, Ruggs is going to take on Kenneth Murray, the linebacker for the Chargers that was drafted out of Oklahoma. If he gets through that, it'll set up a matchup with Ruggs' former Alabama teammate, fellow wideout, and now Denver Bronco, Jerry Judy. Then, the winner of that match will go on to face Cowboys receiver C.D. Lamb come October 27th. And speaking of NFL players who are really good at Madden, there might not be anyone better than Charger safety Derwin James. Now, that is so true that we made an entire show about him, and we called it Derwin James versus the World, and that is presented by Oakley. He very easily took down one guest, Lil Baby, 44 to nothing, and then followed that up with a 53-3 win against another Atlanta hip-hop artist, Quavo, last week. Now, this week's guest is Darius Rucker. He's not a rapper. He is a country music artist, so maybe he will fare just a bit better. We will find that answer out, though, in just about an hour live tonight. Now, on the NFL rookie side of things, Henry Ruggs III has clearly been dominating so far, but it's been a very different story for our other King of the Hill competition going down between our Madden pros. Now, last week, Pavin was named King of the Hill by defeating fellow 818 crew member Young Kiv 16-13 to in a very tight match that came right down to the wire. They traded touchdown passes, then Pavin got a pick to set the go-ahead touch to set up the go-ahead field goal and then seal the deal with another key interception, really pulling out all the stops in this game. It is no wonder Pavin advances in our King of the Hill tournament. Now that comes after Kim took down Bugs by a score of 24 to 14 in week one. So will we have a third consecutive week with a new King and Clef, or will Pavin be our first repeat champ? It is all on the line tonight. And for that, let's welcome in the guys themselves. We've got Pavin and also Clef. Guys, how you doing tonight? You look ready to go, fired up, focused. Doing good. So, Clef, I want to I start with you here. Have you heard the phrase before? It's by my guy, Ric Flair. If you want to be the man, you've got to beat the man. So, how do you expect to beat Pavin tonight? Just play my game. Just nothing... Don't change up anything I do. Just be me. Don't make mistakes. Force them to make mistakes. And just play cleft football. That's all. Okay, so you feel very confident. You don't feel like you need to make any adjustments to uh, really even the odds against Pop, and you're feeling really good just based on what you've already done in the past. Yeah, I feel good. Every game I come into, no matter who I play, I feel good. So it's more about me just taking care of what I'm supposed to take care of rather than worrying about the opponent. Okay. So, Pavin, on the other hand, you would be our first repeat champ in this King of the Hill tournament. Do you feel any pressure knowing that and also being King of the Hill right now? Uh, no, I don't feel any pressure. You know, I played for, you know, bigger amounts, bigger games. And, you know, this is just a nice invitational tournament. You know, I feel like this is just an opportunity to have some fun, you know, win money on the side as well. And, you know, who knows what's to come out of this? I know rugs is a beast. I didn't even know he was a beast on the six. Maybe one day, me being a Raiders fan, I can play Henry Ruggs or something like that. So that's just how I'm feeling today. Ready to play. Okay, awesome. Yeah, get a little notoriety, win a little money. It all sounds good. Now, Poppin, did you learn anything from your win over Young Kiv last week that you're trying to also remember to implement tonight? Uh, yeah, I kind of played a little, you know, uh, rattled versus Kiv. Kiv was actually pretty, really, really good. And uh, I kind of got lucky in that game to even, you know, make it out. My defense was, you know, pretty good, but my offense was a little shaky. But, you know, we'll see how we do tonight. You know, Clef is no pushover. I think he's going to be my hardest game in this whole team of the hill. All right. Well, we will just see about that. Now, Clef, earlier tonight we saw a feature on your football background. How do you think that gives you an advantage when you're playing Madden? Um, it just teaches me, you know, stay calm through everything, stay calm through the adversity, and really just, you know, it reminds me to key in on somebody's tendencies and, you know, been in harder situations before, so just playing this game, it just reminds me, no matter what the score is, you know, stay composed, stay posed, and you can, you can always overcome whatever you go through. 
Well, talk about overcoming whatever you go through. You're repping the Buccaneers. So how are you feeling about Tom Brady so far? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like, you know, we're going to be in Tampa for the Super Bowl celebrating in a few months. And I can't wait. You know what? I think a lot of people I think a lot of people agree with you there. You know, we, we do a lot of talking about Tom Brady on ESPN. A lot of people have a lot of faith that that team is going to get better and better as the weeks go by. So I think you might be onto something there. Now, Pavan, I don't know if you know this, but the cameras caught you doing some push-ups before the uh -huh. show. I saw you banging out a few. Now, is this something that you do before every game? Is this something like to get you mentally going or is it like getting your body in some type of shape or like what's the deal here? So, you know, uh, the past year and a half, year or so, I've been really taking my health and well, or health and uh, this wellness really, really serious. And, you know, that's just a small part. Sometimes when you're sitting in here, setting it up, playing these games continuously, you need to loosen your body out a little bit. And, you know, I've really taken a love for the gym and just anything physical, you know, I could get into. So, you know, I'll just crank out a few push-ups here and there. And, you know, when the games get rough, you can just do that. And, you know, you'll honestly just forget about the game. Yeah, no, I think it's a great idea. I can't imagine, you know, sometimes when you're, you know, leaning forward so much, it probably feels good to kind of stretch it out. Get the yeah. blood flowing, get those muscles working. All right, well, I like it. I uh, I think I might implement that into my daily routine as well. You know, when I'm on my computer for a while, maybe I'll start banging out some push-ups as well. Yeah. All right, guys, well, look, I think both of you have got um, a lot going for each of you. I think you've each got a lot of talent on your side. Look, no shortage of confidence either. So I wish both of you the best of luck tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now remember, those two are playing for cash tonight. The winner of this game of Madden takes home $6,000 and then moves on to face Joke next week for an additional 8 k and really it just keeps getting better from there on. And now it is time to bring in our caster team of Nick Mazesco and one great user. So, guys, here's my question to you. What would you do with a cool $6,000? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was working out like Pavin doing oh, yeah. my curls. Uh, with a cool $6,000, I would uh, presumably I, I, I have a wife. I'd give it to her. Let's be honest, okay? There's no chance <laughs> like I'd see answer. any amount of that money, Charlie. Uh, so excited for today's game. Nick Mazesco alongside the reigning defending Panthers Club champion. One great user. User, we have yet to have a repeat champion here on the Madden Pro side at King the Hill. I feel like, though, if there's one guy that can do it, it is Pavin. He has looked so good early in Madden 21. And you're right about that. The one guy that can do it is Pavin, man. Pavin, ever since last year, the LCQ, man, he's just looked like an unstoppable force in the Madden community. And it's made me respect this game even more. Well... I mean, this this game is going to be a lot of fun. Pavin, a guy who is uh, playing so well early in the season, cleft the gods so hungry. Uh, I mean, we got to get your prediction. It's time for our Campbell's Chunky Prediction uh, user. Who are you riding with in this one? It sort of felt like in that early interview, we had two different feels of players. Pavin, very loose, ready to play. Clef, on the other hand, he looked locked in. It's tough, man, because both of these guys are built, man. You know, I talked to each of them yesterday. I always like to check in on the guys before I do my pick, and you try to kind of gauge them. But when you're dealing with these caliber players, it really doesn't matter. And so I, I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to ride with Clef because Clef, he looks real good. And if Clef doesn't beat Pavin, like Pavin said, I feel like this is going to be his toughest match through the whole King of the Hill. If Pavin somehow pulls it out, he might take it off. Yeah, both these players known for uh, high-volume offense combined with smothering defense. Uh, user, give me give me one part of this game that, that you think is going to be key. Is it You think it's, it's going to be a turnover-heavy game, or are we going to see some high-powered offense? Uh, I'm not too sure because, you know, we're dealing with the press. We're still dealing with the press, the bench press. So we're going to see what guy is able to adapt and really deal with, deal with the main defense and create the offense. As we kick things off inside Pizza Hut Stadium, and it's going to be Pavin starting off with the ball first. User, we say, I think just about every week we call these games, this first drive can really be a tone setter for the $6,000 game of Madden. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a tone setter, man. All these guys want to come out and get some points, and you want to get a stop. 
everyone, these guys, they know how important the first drive is. So they're going to be sharp, laser focused, and ready to put some points up. You know, Clef's getting locked in. He's got the music rolling. It wasn't quite in the headphones. The first fumble of the game, user, it goes to the sound system of Clef the God. Hey, all I know that Clef got on the toboggan, and the last time he had on the toboggan, he took it all the way to the ship. I like it. Listen, you've you've heard of of uh, of uh, Dugati Boogs. That's that's Beanie Clef right there. He's ready to go. Six thousand dollars on the line. This is our third of the King of the Hill matchups, and for Pavin, he's looking to not only add on to his title. Now, did I hear him right, uh, user, in that interview with Charlie? He said, you know, I, uh, you know, it's 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 time to have some fun with not a lot of a lot of money on the line. Is he jaded from his one hundred thousand dollar win in Madden nineteen? I mean, you know, Pavin has won a lot of cash. And I hate to say it, it's just he living a different lifestyle, Nick. He ain't like me and you, you know what I'm saying? He get in the bag. He got a belt behind him. He got 100 bands in his bank account. You know what I'm saying? So, damn, it's, it's a light 6K. We're going to have some fun with it. You know, I wish I was in that position. But we are playing on full mud. If it's your first time hanging out with us, shout out to everybody out in the Twitch chat and across our streaming platforms hanging out with us for hour number two of Tuesday Night Madden. Full mutt, so you're going to see a mix of both current players and past players here on the field as first and 10. Look at left side, and that's a catch. Nice, easy read to start things off. Reggie Bush, user, I have been so impressed with since he came out last week. Yeah, Reggie Bush, is a, he's a great ad. You know, everyone's probably replacing him. You know, we had Barry Sanders out there. Now we're using the Reggie Bush because he's able to get that backfield master for one cap, and that's great because now you have more AP to spread around on the offense. Pizza Hut stating the site of all All Madden full mutt games to get the feel of the Madden Championship Series while playing at home. Both these players should be running out of the gun bunch, Pavin. As you can see, already in their pressure set. Nice throw up the seam to pick up a first down and move into enemy territory. And you know, this formation that uh, Pavin is running this bunch, I think it's Carolina playbook or uh, Atlanta playbook. It's tough to, to press this, this formation. So you're going to see Clef running a lot of zone. And that's what people, they really didn't want to get into the bunch or get into those tight end formations. But as long as we're dealing with the bench press, you're going to have to run these formations to make sure they cannot pressure guys to sleep. Yeah, so let's talk about bench press for a second. Maybe some people at home haven't watched a lot of Madden, maybe not uh, familiar with the abilities. What is this bench press that everybody's been talking about these last couple weeks? Man, bench press is an ability that you can get for one AP on the defense. And what it does, when you're able to press the guy, of course it lights up, you'll see it activate. But not only does it presses the guy, it fatigues the receiver. So the receiver doesn't actually run the route the way he's supposed to during play. So like meaning if he's running a skinny post, he's really his speed could drop from maybe 91 ah. to 87. Ooh, that's a book. That's a pick to start the game off. Clef the God animated because he gets the first turnover of the game. Did he just change the song after the turnover? Was that his defensive <laughs> song? That's what it looked like. He's Clef like, over playing the game, Katie, man, DJ. Katy Perry's firework done with that one. Let's move on. As we'll get to see Clef on offense for the first time. Uh, user, we've known Clef for a long time. That Madden Challenge loss in the final, I think, has stuck in his craw, and he is more fired up and hungrier than I've ever seen him for a belt this year. Yeah, man, you know, Clef, he, you, everyone knows his backstory, how he started off as a young boy, but man, when I tell you, when he lost in the championship, in the draft champs to Noah, it lit a fire on him because he really felt like that was his moment to plateau him to another level. I mean, not like he hasn't been shining and he did a great job in the Madden Bowl, but he really felt like he let one slip away. First and 10 for Clef, an uncharacteristic first drive turnover for Pavin. And now you can see the Clef the God go to work on offense. Big Bucks fan. As a first down, it's Pavin with the sack, able to bring in Namdi Asamoah, one of the 50 players uh, in the game. And you see Pavin, he's coming out here running. It looks like the big nickel. And this is another defense we've seen brought out in the last couple of days where they're sending that nickel back off the edge. Stepping up in the pocket, nice throw left side, avoids Ooh. the tackle, and picks up a good chunk of yardage. Tyrone Calico 
might be the best receiver in Madden that nobody knows uh, a lot about his career with the Tennessee Titans. Well, you know, with the new 50 series that came out this week, they're releasing guys that were great on Madden. He may not have a great NFL career, but Madden, in actual the game of Madden, Tyrone Calico, Tyro Calico is a legend. Career cut way too short. Brutal knee injury off a horse collar tackle. That's actually why we have the horse collar rule in the game now is big reason is Tyrone Calico's career being cut too short. Second out of 10 for Clef the God. Bunch on the left side. Get it, let's oh go! Come on! Marvin Harrison on the right side, and mm. ball's out, and that's a scoop, mm. and that's gonna be a walk-in defensive touchdown. Who else but LT with a scoop and score? And you know I'm starting to like this game because you see he's starting to send pressure. Everyone said you couldn't blitz, but all of a sudden, a couple weeks later, now people are dialing up the heat as you see Pavin come through with a sack fumble right there. Tyrone Calico, by the way, his peaks in Madden, you guys are listening to this, 93 speed, 97 jumping. I mean, talk about a red zone target that could also burn you deep down the field. Yeah, Calico was tough, man. You know, people was out there jetpacking, rocket catching, man. Calico was a legend back in the day. You, you miss those Madden 04, 05 days? Oh, definitely. Definitely. It's when you can really use her. That's how you got the name, the one great user. 7 nothing. <laughs> Pavin oh, on top, Clef back on, to work, that. and Woo. dangerous yeah, throw into coverage. Good. Denzel Ward lurking. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's that's really not a good read by Clef right there. It looks a little on tilt. Maybe the heat has him shook. Got to take a deep breath. He'd love to not only put that 6K in his pocket, but also get a little momentum here in Madden 21 with those club championships just around the corner. Mm. Won't help when you're taking uh, sacks like that in the backfield. Pavin's defense screaming early. Yeah, man, he's doing a great job of mixing it up, using his edge protectors, then sending the heat. You know, Clef is trying to show some good pocket presence, but you see that edge protector was with, was able to get around the edge. Edge threat was able to get around that edge protector right there. Threat, threat beat protector. It's not something you want to hear as timeout taken. It's gonna be yeah, you one, know, and it's only one remaining now, by the way, for Clef here in the first half. Yeah, you know what's kind of wild is because, you know, he does have edge protector, and we've been debating on the podcast or not whether or not edge protector was really needed. As you see, oh that was a super God. shed right there. Scream off. Come on, and he's throwing it back. And no one can see that up here on the bottom of the screen. Well, Pavin's offense could do it. His defense has put two touchdowns on the board. Oh, my God. Yeah, Pavin is looking like a defensive specialist right now, oh, no. just dialing up the pressure, on, mixing it in from drop coverage and sending the heat. Clef is on tilt right now. And this is where, user, when, when you talk about going on tilt, two defensive touchdowns in a row against. This is the drive that I feel like you either you can either stay in the game or let it get totally out of hand. Yeah, Clef is, you know, I mean, it's tough, and, and people wonder why I like blitzing and I like putting pressure on him because what Pavin is doing is a great way to play the game because now a person, he's off balance. He's not comfortable. He doesn't know whether or not he's blitzing. Whether, do I need to block the tight end? Do I need to send out the running back? All those type of things are great when you're able to mix that in. First down and 10. Clef trying to go back to work. Only a three-man rush that time from Pavin. Interesting, Pavin went away from the pressure there as it has been so successful early in the game. Well, he, he's mixing it up. He doesn't want to get predictable, and that's what great Madden players do. He wanted to see his air straight go to work. Unfortunately for him, they didn't really get off the shed that time. Boy, talk about one of the biggest differences for Madden 20, the Madden 21 user. Last year, the edge threats, they'd get home every play. This year, much more reserved. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, all mad man, the main streets are crazy. Reggie Bush taking it outside. The former USC Trojan, long career in the NFL. I, I remember Reggie Bush. Uh, I looked on, on the, the Mudhead site, and it had him with a Saints logo. Listen, I know Boogs would want me to remember Reggie Bush as a Detroit Lion. <laughs> Did he play for Detroit? Uh, yes. Oh, man. 
Yeah, uh, I don't remember that stuff. The laugh was unnecessary, sir. I feel like we're gonna have a word with you afterwards Come as a on, scramble. No Mike Vick breaks no the tackle, way. breaks it hard down to the 37 yard line. User, you know it's Madden season when Mike Vick is here in oh, Ultimate Team. God. Oh yeah, Mike Vick and Deion Sanders, man, they dropped out. They dropped last weekend in the packs, man. So of course you're gonna see Michael Vick out here. There's no question, man. You're playing Madden, you gotta have Vick up under the hem. An eventful first quarter in the books. It is 14-0. Pavin with the lead and has yet to put an offensive touchdown on the board. His defense doing the talking right now. First down at 10. Oh Left's got a little bit of a drive joint here, but he cannot get away from the pressure. Down goes Vic. A way to stop that scrambling user is to keep Vic in the pocket. Yeah, that's definitely one way to stop it. Pavin, he's just doing a great job of mixing up. I know. Clef is trying to see if he can find out, see if he can find a tail in the defense, whether he's screaming or not. I haven't been able to find it. Second of 14, dropping back to pass with Vic. Stepping up, looking right side, but he can't hang on to the ball. And you can see the frustration building on the side of Clef the God. Yeah, Poppin's playing great defense. Poppin the and you know what's so funny about it, Nick? You know, the game. It, it changes weekly because at the beginning of the year, everyone's like, yo, you can't apply pressure. And, you know, it's just like give people time. When you give them time, these guys, they're going to find something. They're going to dial up the heat. And sure enough, the defense will be there. Well, if you look at Madden 20, how much that game changed throughout the majors. At the Classic, it was the Zeke Elliott armbar train. He got to clubs. It was still running the ball, but less armbar. We saw more jukebox and then Got to the challenge in the bowl, it was a little more balanced even. Uh, Noah, of course, though, winning with Chris Johnson and no abilities in uh, in the DC format. As once again, the pressure just non-stop. Clef facing a fourth and 14. Yeah, the edge threat, he, he chose to go coverage right there, and the edge threat does what he's supposed to do. And it's really whooping that edge protector. You know, I, I, went, I went against Bugatti Bugs on the debate, but I'm watching it firsthand. Maybe edge protector can't do nothing with edge threat. It's like putting up a security system that doesn't stop robbers. You're like, what, what was the point? Why even bother spending money on it? No, oh, you see, Pavin's gonna bring out the 140. So as you see Clef used that last time out, he knows the heat is coming. You see the 140 coming out here. That 146, the heat is coming. Fourth and a country mile. Clef the God looking for something to go his way. It's been all Pavin early. Can his defense come up with yet another stop? Trying to dial up the right route combo to pick up 14 or more. That's Calico now on the right side in the slot. Vic dropping back. Hurt. Looking right side. That's a book. That's a pick. That's down the Asimov with the interception. Three drives, three interceptions for Clef the God. Yeah, you know the new Nandi Asimov dropped Thursday with the NFL 50. You already know Poppins gonna have him out there, a legend raider. Oh, you notice Poppins, Poppins went to the barber this week. He, he got those lines cleaned up. He's looking fresh. He knew he was gonna be here on Twitch, here on Madden Tuesday nights. And I feel like that's a cut he's gonna keep for these next couple yeah, of weeks if he keeps playing defense like that. Yeah, if he keeps playing defense like this, we could, like I said, we could see him all the way at the top. See him playing Drini. Can you imagine? Seeing both Pavin and Henry Ruggs, the Raiders fan and the Raider, in the final. I mean, that would. I, I that feel would like be Pavin's dream. That, that is the dream. Pavin, I might retire after that. Looking deep down the field, a playmaker, but can't yeah. hook up. Yeah. He's going to fall out of bounds. <laughs> Only two or four passing the ball early in this game. It's been the defense putting up points. And you know they're playing five minute quarters. This still is a long game. You know, if Clef can play defense, this is actually probably the first time on offense. If he can play defense, he still has a chance. Third and seven. Vic at the helm, stepping up. Clef's trying to let his defense do the talking. And Pavin will throw this one away. Fourth and seven, decision time. And looks like Pavin's going to just pump the ball away. I mean, the way his defense is playing, I don't blame him. Oh, yeah. 
And, you know, Tuff's got to be kicking himself right now because, like, now you're thinking, like, this is my first time seeing him on offense, and I was able to get a three and out. And I gifted him 14 points. You cannot do that and win these games. And hopefully Clef is talking to himself right now, like, look, let's just put some points up. It's a long game. We can still come back. 14 to nothing. Clef the God coming back out on offense. Guys, don't forget, the night is not over yet. Coming up at 10 o'clock, we got Derwin James versus the World presented by Oakley. We're going to be taking on country music legend. Darius Rucker. Let's listen to some Darius Rucker early today. Get an for the show as once again. I, I mean, at some point, Clef's got to look at the offensive line and go, what's the point of having you? Should I just go 10 wide receivers? It, it looked like he double teamed the edge protector and he still broke through. Absolute domination. I'm like real life Aaron Donald out there. Oh my God. Vic. He's jump for that. Stepping up. How That's about finally getting a pass over the middle? That's Marvin Harrison with a diving catch and a first down for Clef. $6,000 on the line tonight and a spot in next week's King of the Hill matchup with. Well, so, somebody I don't think anybody wants to face. It's the defending Madden Bowl champion, Joke. Oh, that left yeah. side throws this one away. Yeah, you got Joke. Did you see Problem What Club he joined? Did you see that, Nick? Uh, was, that, was that Joke's own, the three-time defending Browns champion? Problem stepping up to the Browns? Hey, listen. All I know is the GOAT saw the Cleveland Browns club and he said, hey, you going for it. The GOAT ain't a problem right. Feel like he might be making a statement this year. A scramble there for Vic. I, listen, I've been watching Problem play, user. Oh, it's Problem. Been, he's probably he's 14 points in. better than anybody right now. If you ask me, I've been watching him play. When he plays seriously, he's literally 14 points better than anybody. I haven't played him, but I've been watching him. And he, he looks real good. Cannot wait to see him in action. Those Cleveland Browns club championships. That's a first down for Clef. User, is that respect to joke that Problem says I'm going to take him on? Or is Problem saying that Clef's a little sweet? I don't know. I mean, you know, when you're, listen, Problem is, he like Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, man. He got that mama mentality. You know what I'm saying? And, and to me, the way I took it was like, you know. Come on, man. Out of over Let's the go. top. And he's got a touchdown on, on the board. Clef the ever. guy Let's gets the play he it. needed Let's to get back in this ball game. That was a huge bomb. Clef needed that. The worst half he's going to play. Let's go. He got the goal. And like we said, Pavin has not scored offensively. Clef has gave him two turnovers for touchdowns. And it's a long game, five minute quarters. It's a long game. He could come back actually in the first half. Stop, come on, one stop. One stop, we fine. As uh, speed of problem, as Charlie mentioned in the pregame, Rick Flair, the 16 time world champion said to be the best, you gotta beat the best. And right now problem saying, I wanna take on the best from Madden 20 in that Browns yeah. club. And I cannot wait if they match up. That's gonna be a heck of a ball game. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, like I was saying before, the way I took it, problems like, you know, you know, uh, all this Madden Bowl talk. And, you know, problems been around. So he knows Joe. It's some history there. You know, he knows Joe. And so he maybe he's like, you know, I ain't even going to let him leave his house this time. Even though we probably ain't leaving the house because of COVID. But he's probably saying, you know, I ain't even going to let you leave your house this time. Corner route. That's the way I took it. It's made a three-time champions. Pavin, the three-time defending Oakland Raiders club champion, looking for, no surprise, his fourth in a row with the, the now Nicky, Las Vegas Raiders. <laughs> a nice run to the right side. Does, does that? Does he lose his streak though? Since he's the three-time Oakland Raiders club champion, now that's Las Vegas, is it only one now? Are we good? We keep it the same. As long as you're the Raiders, it don't matter, man. It doesn't matter. First down and 10. Yeah, that was a nice stop and go by Pavin right there. 
Rolling out left, he's got all the time in the world, but nobody opened downfield up to chuck this into row one and into the stands, which here in Pizza Hut Stadium, it's filled with fans. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Nick Mazesco, one great user. You know, this is the third King of the Hill battle, $6,000 on the line. Buck the God taking on Pop with 50 seconds left in the half. Looking to the end zone. Picked off for Cleft the God. He's going the other way. And just like that, Cleft has an opportunity to tie it up before the half. That was a big turnover by Cleft right there. Way to step up. Like I said, these guys' defense is playing immaculate. Said poise was the key before the game. He's trying composure. to stay. He's trying to keep that composure. So a stretch around the left side. Good defense by ah, laying the lumber. It's Jamal Adams right there. I'm waiting for Jamal Adams to really start laying the lumber in Seattle. Early for Jamal to force a couple more fumbles. Yeah, you know, I really haven't seen no fumbles in probably the last two weeks. You know, I mean, I've seen sack fumbles, but, you know, not just straight up, you know, hit stick, take his head off fumble. 13 okay. is the ground game. Reggie Bush. They all give him the little uh -oh. squirt. What run stick by Clef the God. He knows he was almost out of there. He got to get out of there. He has to get out of there. Oh, he could almost taste the seven points on the board, but Damn, alas, Pavin able to make the key tackle before the half, and now Clef only down by a touchdown. He will get the ball to start the second half. It was Pavin, his defense shot him out of a rocket. 14 nothing to start this game, but Clef the God has been able to lock in Got to keep touchdown and was able to pick off Pavin on that late drive. 14 to 7 at the half. For more on what we have tonight, let's throw it back to Charlie Arnold. Charlie? Wow. What a game this has been so far. I mean, it was very intense. I thought Clef was going to get that score right there at the final moment, but. Nick, like you said, he almost could taste it, but just not quite. All right, guys, remember these two gentlemen, they're playing for $6,000 tonight and the chance to move on in our King of the Hill competition. Every single week, we're adding more money to the pot, so there's extra incentive to stay on top and retain the crown. Whoever wins this match will have to square off against the reigning Madden Bowl champion in Joke, who is standing by watching the match with us. You can see him right here, and we're going to catch up with him after the game to find out how he plans to really strategize against his next opponent. Now, Joke does have history with both of these competitors back in February. He lost a clef in the semis of the Madden Challenge, and then a couple months later, en route to his first ever belt, Joke defeated Pavin in the semis of the Madden Bowl. So definitely will be interesting to see who he is rooting for tonight. And this isn't the only King of the Hill Challenge going on right now. We also have a knockout competition for the NFL rookies, and that ladder currently being dominated, absolutely dominated, by Raiders rookie wide receiver Henry Ruggs III. Earlier tonight, Ruggs defeated Caleb on Chasen of the Jags 31-6, and Ruggs even tried to score. This is how confident he was feeling on fourth and goal from the three-yard line with three seconds to go. So really, not too much competition right now. Ruggs is merciless. And because of that, I don't know, we're debating. We're really thinking about it over here. We might just have to turn him into a Madden pro. Well, I guess we'll have to count on the Raiders to stop needing his services first on the actual football field for that to happen. But, hey, you never know what can happen. It's 2020. Stranger and crazier things have happened. Now, taking a look at our ladder for this competition, Ruggs now has to face off against Kenneth Murray. And if... He gets through that. It sets up a very juicy matchup against Ruggs' former teammate at Alabama, Jerry Judy, in just a couple of weeks. But you know what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves because we don't want to forget about Derwin James versus the world presented by Oakley because it's coming up in just a few minutes. Derwin likely won't be on the gridiron anytime soon. He is currently rehabbing an injury, but his Madden game is tough. 
And tonight he takes on Darius Rucker, whose musical career stretches more than 30 years. Now, here's a quick look at them both getting ready. All of that coming up at about 10 o'clock Eastern. So you want to stick around. Do not go anywhere. Meanwhile, let's get back to the second half with Nick and one great user. Guys. Charlie, thank you so much. Am I the only one that thinks Darius Rucker might be buying an ebook right now? He might he might be looking for the glitch user. I don't know. I, I, I don't like to judge a book by its cover, but it looked like Derwin going to have a field day on my guy. Now, Derwin has yet to show any weakness, and Darius Rucker's got his hand full. Speaking of weakness, these two players – Showing they have no weakness. The defense has been strong. The offense has been clutch for Clef the God. Pavin still has not put an offensive touchdown on the board, but user, he's got the lead on the scoreboard. I don't know if I've ever seen Clef run that formation. Am I tripping, Nick? But I could have sworn Clef got the ball for him. He has the ball. I know, but we just came out of half. He still no. Papa got the ball first. He threw a pick mm -hmm. on his first drive. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. He did. He did. It happened so fast. You're right. He did. He threw it on the left side. Second yeah, so down. in a good position right here. Bunch on the right side. Lone user on the left side. As Vic taken down once again. Man. I, even though it's in the game of Madden, I feel like actual Michael Vick is feeling some of these hits at this point. Yeah, you see right there, Pavin switched up the switched up the man that had that bench press. It may have looked like that streak was open, but I promise you, he was losing gas. He was losing speed. If he threw that, it would have been an interception. Third down at 12. Left dropping back with the lefty. Looking right side. Nice pass. Good read right at the marker. That's Jimmy Graham. Boy, how dominant was Jimmy Graham for a couple years with the Green Bay Packers and with the Saints? He was one of the toughest tight ends to stop. Yeah, Jimmy Graham, he was an outstanding pro. And he was great on the Madden, too, as he's one of the 50 players that came out Thursday. And, you know, when you're playing against the bench press and stuff like that, that's what makes this defensive problem and his running so tough because you have to utilize your tight end because you can't press the tight end. But if you start utilizing the tight end, he's going to start sending pressure to make sure you block the tight end. So it's like, it's a guessing game. It's a roll of dice. $6,000 on the line as well as staying on top as the king. A matchup with Joke next week. Pava with the lead, but Clef the God putting together a nice drive to start the second half already at the 47-yard line. Yeah, and that's one of the things that, you know, Bugs has always told me. He said, when, you're at, when the edge... You know, the edge threats are starting to act the fool. What you need to do is get completions. Throw the ball short. Take the drags. Take the table routes. Just get the ball out your hand. As you see now, they're starting to give them some protection. Opening up the pocket, and Vic able to scramble for nine. You know, for Pavin, I, you got to wonder what his, what his mindset is right now because he got the two defensive touchdowns, a scoop and score to pick six. His offense, though, has been stagnant, and... He's given up some yards to Clef the God. Uh -oh. He'll stretch outside, trying to get the stop and go-go, and he'll pick up a first down, and Clef with yet another drive into enemy territory. This is a big drive right here for Clef. He needs to get seven. It's his drive is taking a lot longer than, you know, normal because he's having to take those check down routes to make sure he gets the completion percentage to get the protection he needs to get the ball downfield. Strong eye formation. Nice. Another great block on the outside. Woo, Clef the God trying to get sticky with it. It's Reggie Bush picking up a first down. Yeah, it seems like that's all we've been seeing on Twitter this week is everyone's uploading their stick videos, just getting crazy. You know, I've seen Throne stick video. He was out there showing crazy stick. Of course, Dubby with his video, why they watch getting real sticky with it. I even saw his jaw for his video, man. I was like, yo, these guys stick are crazy. Joel posted one oh, today. Oh, oh yeah, oh, Joel. God. Oh, oh, he had a oh. touchdown in his chest over the outstretched hands, and Clef can't believe it. Look like they cheated my guy right there, man. That was a that was supposed to be a dot. Great read from Clef the guy, but doesn't pay off. 
Back to a second and ten. Bo Jackson outside of the bunch. Calico, Jimmy Graham. That's a, uh -oh. a big wide receiver. Nice. Has a nice throw over the middle. Oh, Reggie Bush. He got the teeth knocked out of him with that hit. Down to the four-yard line. Anyone else feel that one? My neck hurts. Oh, yeah. That was a big hit. That was a bangy. <laughs> Even in slow motion, that hit was hard. Cleft got first drive of the second half. He's already down to the four-yard line. See how he decides to attack this Pavin defense. Hardest place on the field to score. He'll go into the eye formation. Bo Jackson down in the eye. He'll take the in. carry. Good defense from Pavin. That's the tough thing about it, because like you know, most likely the person's going to run commit right here. But it's this hard place to score, man. When you're inside the five, the red zone, the field is so condensed. Well, you got a guy like Bo Jackson out there, to fight through tackles. Now into the bunch, and he'll Come on. go down to the eye formation again. Now Reggie Bush at the top of the there. eye, and nowhere to go on the outside for Reggie Bush. Third down as Clef has only gone backwards here inside the ten. This is, this is just a tough place to be right here. I'll probably run the screen, half back screen. You know he's going to have all the coverage out there. Of course, he sends two, and then here comes the shit. Too much defense. What do you do here if you're Clef user? Are you going for you this one? You take the three. You take the three. You don't think about it. You kick the three, lock up. Poppin hasn't done nothing on offense. Just a tip oh, shot. Man. 26 yards out, it's up, it's good, 14 to 10. Boy, it looked like early this game was gonna get out of hand, but plus 10 unanswered points. As we head to the fourth quarter, that fourth quarter is of course presented by Snickers, and guess what, maybe you just need a Snicker. Maybe maybe Clef's defense needs a Snickers here, user. They need a stop here in the fourth. Yeah, they definitely need a stop, man. These guys are hungry for a stop. We got Snickers, we got Chunky Soup, we got Pizza Hut. This, I think these sponsors are here just for me, because I'm getting hungry. This seems like the Nick and User sponsor set. Please don't get me on the food and talking about the snacks and all that. I'll be just as worse as RG up here, man. I know you've heard the stories about me. <laughs> 14 to 10. Pavin back into the I formation. Second and four with that full point lead. Run stretch. It looks like he'll pick up the first down. Reggie Bush fighting through tackles. Remember, this is not just about bragging rights. There's some real money on the line. $6,000 game of Madden between two of the top players in the world. Two players that a lot of people have on their short list as favorites in that Madden Club Championship starting on November 10th. Yeah, that's a lot of cash, man. 6,000? I mean, it's not a million like Quavo and Derwin was talking <laughs> last week. Hey, we'll take it, man. There are a lot of people out there in the chat who are going, $6,000, I'll take it. Hit, hit me. Pa pass me the rock. Second down and three. This is now a all about clock control for Pavin. Already down to the 42-yard line. Like right here, I would run commit. I would just let him hang. I know he's trying to milk the clock and get it out of here. If I run commit, you know, he did run commit, but he was still able to fight for it and get the first. User, that's why you, you buy the Bo Jackson item. That is why Bo's on your team. Yeah, Bo Jackson, he's a beast. You know, he's automatically going to fight for it. Have you ever seen somebody get the fight for it animation and actually not get the first down? I haven't seen that. Once? I want to say once I saw it, but it's mostly around the end zone. It's mostly like they reach for the end zone and they end up at the one. Oh, okay, okay. That's where, that's where at least where I've seen it. First to ten, back to the ground game. It's Reggie Bush. Oh, takes a big hit on the sidelines. Down to the 48, though, another eight-yard pickup on first down. 
And you see some big hits in this game, but no one has let the ball go yet. Second down and four. Choke waiting in the wings. Hey, congrats. Great win. You're still king of the hill. Gonna match up with the best player of Mad 20. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll pick up a couple. Third down and one. He's gonna be able to take this all the way down to the two minute warning. Oh, timeout taken by Clef. He takes this one early. Yeah. Third and two. And Pavin's gonna drop back to pass. Ready? And the defense is gonna get in the backfield. The clutch stop before the two minute warning for Clef the God. It's gonna be a fourth and nine for Pavin. That was a big stop right there. I'm wondering if Pop is going to go for it or punt it. He's in the middle of the field, so you, it wouldn't be a bad call either way. And he is going to keep the offense on the field. Fourth and six. Dang! Big pressure! Left the God! Two straight sacks and great field position for a money drive for $6,000, user. That's how you go get them. Dial up the heat. You know, as the game get closer and closer, man, I try to hold my bias in, but when I see somebody out there dialing up the defense, it's hard. Back to work goes Clef the God. Reggie Bush right down Main Street, spinning off a tackle, picking up 10. Two minute warning, user. This one seems up in the air. Clef the God, can he become Clutch the God? Oh, you already know, Clutch the God, man. He can do it. If anybody can do it, Clutch the God can do it. Here inside Pizza uh -oh. Hut Stadium. This feels like a big game. It's $6,000 on the line, and Pavin giving Clef a taste of his own medicine. He's trying to dial up the pressure. I think if he would have just waited a second, he would have had that in route, because it doesn't look like his guys was going to get the shed. He ran on third and eight, and we caught him off balance. We caught him off guard. Well, how about the play calling there from Clef? Yeah, that's a bot play call to run that ball on third and eight. You know, best believe we was in the Discord, and I called that. They would be slandering me. They would. It, you would not be able to live it down. There'd be Twitch clips posted. First and ten. Dropping back is Clef, looking for somebody open. There's no one there. He'll throw this one away. There was a Raiders defender about 10 yards behind Michael Vick. He had the touchdown, but he, I understand why he didn't throw it because it would have probably been awful, you know, off balance though, inaccurate. But he had the touchdown. And that C route is getting open on the right. Scrum off. Oh, good pocket. He's able up. to step up, pick up a yard or two, but it's still be third down as we near the one minute mark left in this game. Crunch time for Clef the God, down by four. Dropping back to pass, stepping up. The post. Oh. Sitting down, Pavitz defense forces Clef into another fourth down, this one for the ball game user. Yeah, Pavitz has been playing great defense all day. If Clef loses this game, I know he's gonna be kicking himself because he gave him 14 points. If he doesn't pick this up, Pavin is going to win this game without having scored an offensive touchdown. With under, I believe, 50 yards of offense as well. Fourth and 12. One play to stay alive here in this King of the Hill game. One play to keep yourself alive for the $6,000 prize. Utilizing this entire play clock. Pick, drop him back. Pressure set by Pavin. He brought the heat, and he's going to put another 6,000 in his pocket as Pavin locks we'll up fighter, inside we'll his own territory. Yeah, you know, I was hoping Clef would just block that tight end because you knew when Pavin switched to the 140, man, he was going to be sending the goons. He was going to be sending six to seven people. Mm. And when he put that tight end on that streak, I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't think this is a bluff. Pavin gets a handshake from his social media manager, Sahil. You know, 
Twitter's gonna his Twitter is one to follow after wins. He gets some straight videos and graphics put up there. He's a good follow over on Twitter. Yes, yeah, so our is taking good care of Poppy. As it is Nini's and Gigi's in the chat. Pavin, back to back weeks with a victory. He's now won a total of ten thousand dollars. And he gets back up next week with Joke. User, I cannot wait for that battle. Yeah, it's going to be a good battle right there. We're going to really see what Joke is made of this year. You know, it's going to be our first time laying eyes on him to see if he's, you know, if he's back up to that championship form on a new Madden. What a battle here between two of the oh. best in the Madden world. And it is Pavin on top of Clef the God, 14 to 10. Still crazy to think, User, that Pavin had under 50 yards of offense in that game. It was his defense setting the tone. Let's take a look at our replay of our Snickers play of the game. Setting the tone in this one, user. It was scoreless to start things off, but Pavin, like an ice cream store, gets a scoop and score. Yeah, you see him just dialing up the heat, just oh, screaming at my man, Clef. That was our Snickers play of the game. And it started things off on the right foot, user. It was just a little too much for Clef to come back from. Yeah, you know, he, he put himself down 14 points. And nothing is worse than when you gift a guy 14 points and then you're just fighting. You're trying to fight against your mistakes. You're like, you know, if he comes out here, he's doubting me, he's cooking it up, okay. But I just cannot come out here and give the guy 14 points, having turnovers for touchdowns. Even if you have turnovers, you can't just let him take it to the crib. And that's one of the things about this year. When you get a turnover, man, it's very dangerous. It can turn into six quickly. Oh, man, I cannot wait for next week. I can't wait for what's coming up next. For more on that, we're going to throw it back to Charlie. Charlie, I'm checking my texts, and, yeah, my wife said you don't have to sleep on the couch for that comment about the $6,000, so I'm safe over here. Well, you know what they say, happy wife, happy life. I think she's a smart woman. I would do the same thing, so hats off to Nick's wife. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. You know what, now, after that ridiculously good game, wow, I was – Definitely expecting a showdown, but nothing quite that intense. But now what do you say? Let's head it over to the Snickers post-game interview or the Snickers post-game lounge for an interview. And for that, I'm joined, of course, by our winner tonight, Pavin. Pavin, congratulations. Those push-ups paid off. Thank you. Uh, I don't really, you know, that's a game that I'm not really that proud of the way I played. Um, but, you know, win is a win. So thank you for that. A w look, a win is a win. It doesn't always look pretty. Sometimes you just got to get the job done. So tell me what did make the difference tonight, despite the mistakes that you did have. So I felt like I really honestly didn't play bad offense at all. I made a couple mistakes, but for the most part, like every single one of my drives went to the 50 and then it kind of just stalled out. And then obviously I made two just terrible reads that I usually don't make. Um, but my defense was, you know, just on point. And uh, I don't know if it's ridiculous. <laughs> this newest patch that came out last week, but the pass rush is, you know, super souped up now. And I think I had like 10 sacks that game. So, you know, it, it is hard. Like, even if, you know, someone like Clef and my caliber, we really had, weren't putting up points. I didn't score a single offensive point. And then going back to last week as well, it was a low scoring game, 16 to 13 versus Kiff. So, you know, I don't know. People say it's an offensive game, but the past two games have been defensive battles. And, you know, it's just super sweaty out here. So, obviously, the defense has really been what's been uh, fueling these games. Is there anything else that surprised you about tonight's matchup? Um, I don't know. I just, you know, Clef kind of ran a defense I didn't think he'd run. I thought he was going to run something else. And then I knew Clef was going to come back. I've seen that, you know, story a million times. And, you know, I've seen people, he, he made some crazy comebacks, and I just knew I wasn't going to let that happen. And he almost obviously, he did come back, but... I just, I couldn't be one of those victims, I guess you could say. Well, like you said, the, your defense really was on top of it tonight. That that was what helped to win the game for you. And $6,000 goes in your pocket tonight. And if you win next week, Pavin, you're going to add another $8,000 to your bank account. But to do that, you will have to defeat Joke, the reigning Madden Bowl champion. And to preview that matchup, let's bring in our next challenger himself. Joke, how you doing tonight? What do you think of that game? Hey, I'm doing all right. How about you? Uh, like, like Pavin said, I'm doing I, I think great. Thank the, you. I think all Madden is like a defensive game, so it kind of fares my style. 
So definitely enjoying all Madden more than all pros. So just looking forward towards, you know, playing Pavin. I, I know he's going to run Bunch. I know what I have to do against Bunch. So I feel like if I score enough points, I'll be fine. Okay, so you sound like you know Pavin pretty well. Did you notice any weaknesses in his game tonight that you plan to exploit next week? Uh, we're going to have to see for next week. I can't really say what I want to do or what I'm not going to do. No, so of course. Well, look, I, I don't we'll want you to give up your strategy. <laughs> okay, now, Joke, you defeated Pavin in the semis of the Madden Bowl earlier this year. You had a pick six on Pavin's first offensive possession. How important is it to jump out early? So, I mean, last year was a little different. Last year was a lot more important because I didn't use a quarterback. So, like, you know, if I got down early, I was in a big hole. This year, we're using the best quarterback, Michael Vick. So if I get down early, I can make comebacks. So I don't think really, I think it's going to be more important about who plays better in the second half. And in the first half, if it's a game, I think it's going to be one in the second half, not in the first half like the last game that we played the Madden Bowl. Poppin, how do you respond to that? Do you believe it's going to be about getting off to a hot start? Do you agree with Joke that it's more about the second half of play? Um, I definitely agree with them in certain games, but this game, all I needed was 14 points, and, you know, I scored 14 points in the first quarter from my defense, and, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't need any more points to, you know, win the game, but I don't know. Joke is, you know, very different than a lot of competitors. He's not going to make mistakes as in, you know, throwing the ball around Millie. Really Willie and just, you know, throwing dots around the field. So he's probably going to slow the game down, and, you know, I'm going to have to do something about like that. All right. Joke, you were very emotional after winning the Madden Bowl earlier this year, dedicating that win to spot me and True Boy. How in any way has your life changed since picking up your very first championship belt? Uh, honestly, it, it's the same. I'm, I'm still trying to be the best Madden player in the world. If anything, it's given me more motivation to get back that feeling of winning again. So my life really hasn't changed much. The only difference in life I've made is just making sure I go to the gym every day. Uh, last year, I did a poor job of you know, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and playing Madden. So this year, my main focus is to A, still try to be the best Madden player in the world, but B, maintain a healthy lifestyle and continue going to the gym and continue losing weight. And that's, that's really the only changes I've made since I you know, won the Madden Bowl. Well, I like that. It seems like you both are really keeping up, you know, with your physical health. I think that's great. And look, I can't wait for next week. I think this is going to be a great matchup. And I wish the best of luck to you both in your preparations and also as we head into next week. So thanks for joining me. Poppin, congratulations no again to you tonight. Now, Thank everyone, you. don't go anywhere. Coming up next is Derwin James versus the world. And this week it's Derwin James versus Darius Rucker from Hootie and the Blowfish. Derwin has been really crushing his opponents lately, but Darius has been a football fan for longer than Derwin's been alive, so he might have some advantages. Now, starting Tuesday, November 10th, the Madden NFL 21 Club Championship kicks off. All the best Madden pros will be vying for their share of a $750,000 prize pool. Coverage begins there, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And remember, we're just a few days away from the Apex Legends Global Series Autumn Circuit. Coverage starts Monday, October 5th, 9.45 a.m. Pacific Time on Twitch. It's going to be the best Apex spreader. Hey, oh, wow, here I am talking WWE Lego. Apex uh, players in their regions as they go head to head to compete for their share of a $500,000 prize pool. And we'll be right back, everybody, with Derwin James versus Darius Rucker and Derwin James versus the world. King of the Hill is brought to you in part by Chunky, soup that eats like a meal. And in part by Gillette. Go all out with an exclusive offer on NFL Team Razors at Gillette.com slash Madden. The pan, the myth, the legend, the comfort food that started it all. The original pan from Pizza Hut for just $10.99. No one out pizzas the hut. Gillette Pro Glide and Pro Glide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you start the day with a clean shave and a clean face. Got the ball, looking downfield. 
He's going to have to hurdle the tiny track. Look at him tiptoe free. Oh, what a spin move. This dad will not be denied his hearty meat and veg. Campbell's Chunky Soup that eats like a meal. Matt, I think I got my fantasy nights mixed up. Hey, Bill. Hey, Matt. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. You sure? Yeah. Snickers satisfies. They all come to test me, to make a name for themselves. The smartest, the strongest, the fastest. To the apartment! We going! To the apartment! Which means there is only one thing to do. Show them what true greatness looks like. It's me against the world. But let's get one thing straight. This is just how I like it. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine I'd like it too if I kicked everybody's ass that I played in the past couple weeks. <laughs> Darius, you've got your hands full tonight. Everyone, what's going on? Welcome to Derwin James versus the world presented by Oakley. There on the left, you can see the star of the show, Derwin James, getting ready to face our celebrity guest, Darius, Darius Rucker. And everyone, I'm your host, Charlie Arnold, here to bring you our final exciting hour of Madden for the night. Throughout the next match will be trying everything we can to see if somebody, there's got to be someone out there who can dethrone our resident expert, Derwin James, because so far it has been, well, impossible. So let's start with our star of the show. We have Charger Safety, and currently known as one of the best Madden players in the world, Derwin James. Derwin, how you doing tonight? How y'all doing? I'm doing good. Ready to come get this W. I mean, so far, you've been unstoppable. Do you think that there's going to be any difference tonight? No, nah, this should be a flood. It should be a flood tonight. 
Whoa, a flood. Wow. Uh, have you been practicing at all since last week? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm in a couple of franchises, um, so I get a couple games in a week, a day, you know, just that practice that you need. Well, you know, good to hear that you're practicing Madden. Obviously, you're still rehabbing that knee injury of yours. So how are you feeling on that front? Oh, I'm feeling good. Um, back walking. So that's a start. So just taking it one day at a time. Now, the Chargers, you saw, they lost last weekend without you. But I don't want to ask you about that. I want to know what happened to Florida State against Miami. Oh, I mean, man. 52 to 10. Come oh. on. Uh, we can't talk about that. That 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 wasn't Florida State football right there. I'm I'm a little I'm a little disappointed back about that one. You know, I had to hear from it at work today. So from a couple of the guys that you know that that's a f alumni Miami Hurricanes. I, I didn't appreciate it today. No, it's just complete disrespect. All right, we're not going to talk about that then because I want you to be on your A game for this game coming up. But let's take a look back at the dominance that you've put up this season in a recap of the first two weeks. It's coming to you from our Oakley Prism player cam. Now, we had a lot of fun with Lil Baby and Quavo the last two weeks. Uh, so I can tag you. Yeah. I can tell yeah. people we playing. What? James, my guy. We got three picks. <laughs> yeah, good. 21 they to them. Hey, hold on. They paused the game. They say I might be over the skill <laughs> you have a tough game. They said you went to Kishpi early. No. All right, this your man? See on them? This your man? Yeah. All right, so look, I introduced my guy, man. It's Travis. Oh, that's oh. you. Sir. Tell your man. Tell your man I really do this, yo. He's sweet. <laughs> good game, my oh. boy. Listen, this, this show is called Derwin Versus. I don't want to, yeah. at the end of this day, be talking to Quavo about switching it up to Quavo Versus now. <laughs> no, I don't want to take over the show, but you know, hey, I got that in me. Play action on first Blur. and 10. Okay, I got a show for y'all, man. I got a show for y'all, man. Oh, that was sweet. That was Julio, nice. that was man, Julio. For my money. Okay. Oh, we got a scoop. Mm -hmm. Touchdown, right, we, Derwin we're, we're, James. All right, that's the game. That's the game. I respect that. Good game, my boy. All right, now we had a lot of fun with Lil Baby and Quavo the last couple weeks, but Derwin, now it is time to introduce your next opponent. He is a three-time oh, Grammy-winning yeah. artist who has also gone platinum, also a massive Dolphins fan, and his new track, Beers in Sunshine, is out right now. So, ladies and gentlemen... Allow me to introduce to you Derwin James's opponent this week, Darius Rucker. Darius, how you doing tonight? I'm good, man. I'm good. After seeing how 44 <laughs> nothing and 53 to three, I'm not gonna be doing good in a little while. But I'm here to play. I won't hit him. It's like Tyson said. Everybody's got game till they get hit in the mouth. I'm coming to hit him in the <laughs> mouth. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, yes, so, sir. so far from what you're yes, saying. Sir. It doesn't sound like you have too much confidence. So I gotta ask, like, are you even good at Madden? I used, I, you know, I used to be really good. I, I made nah, it to the back nah, of the day when the Mad Bull was finals. You know, I used to be good, but I, I'm ready for him. I go lie, you know, it's 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 the same okay. game it's been for a long time. I'm ready for him, you know. You gotta show to these score. young guns how it goes. That's what I was saying earlier to a friend of mine. I was like, I'm OG. <laughs> I'm OG. <laughs> I'm quite, I don't okay, know so OG. I'm play defense. They weren't playing no defense. Look, Look, I'm, I'm going to play some defense. I'm not going to ask you how old you are, but I do want to know what is the first edition of Madden that you do remember playing? Oh, the original Madden. We, I played the original game. Okay. Which, I for everybody out there, time. which year was that? Goodness gracious. That was got to be, what, 20-something years ago. I don't, I don't know. I've been playing Madden since it came out. That, I'm old, man. <laughs> okay. Well, Derwin was born in 1996, so. Oh, it was way before that. You, it was way before. It was before that. <laughs> way before that. He was, <laughs> yeah. he was playing before you were even born, Derwin. I okay, think, now you're also nice, a huge uh, Dolphins fan. I think Go in '96 I made it to the uh, to the to the finals of the Man Bowl that year, but it was all celebrities. But I did. I made it to the finals. Oh. Yep, almost made the game. Okay. Yep. So as Derwin so, was know, coming out of the womb, you were winning tournaments. I, exactly. I was schooling them back then, so I'm ready for him. <laughs> I, see, I see what he's been doing to these guys, and he said he's, he's going to flood me. He's just going to flood me. He just said it straight out. Like, what's up, man? <laughs> it's going to be a flood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so I'm ready for that. what do you think of the Dolphins this season? 
I think we I still think we're gonna win the Super Bowl. I think last week we showed that we're ready to make our move. Um, I like to see. <laughs> I'm ready for two to play, but you know I understand what they're doing. But uh, I, we're, we're we're trending up, and I like that. I like that. Okay, so Darius, if Derwin beats you tonight, does he get one of your Grammys? Like, what's what's the trade off here? Is there any bets no, going? No, no, I mean, you've got no. three Grammys. <laughs> yeah, send me send me, yeah. send me send me a CD or something. I need I need something, uh-huh. man. All right, if you I'll send you I'll send you I'll send you a whole bunch. Yeah, of send, CDs. Me, send me something. Now you, yeah, come <laughs> on, now let's go. And if I win, I want right, yeah. I, I like that but, a little a little yeah, friendly good. wager. Yeah, I got you. All right. All right, guys. All right, well, look, I, 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 I like it. Right. I like I got you. it. I got this you. is different than our you. last couple matchups, and uh, I think it's going to be a good one. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. we got a tight game here tonight. I don't want any flooding going on. I want to see you guys neck and neck. But, gentlemen, thank you so much. We're all ready for this one. Now, as we know, Derwin has outscored his opponents in the past 97 to 3 throughout the past two weeks. So how will this week play out? Well, let's find out. And bring in our casters. We've got Scott Cole and the spokes player who have some special rules that they would like to go over before we get things started. Guys. 97 to three. Uh, I was told there'd be no math. That's a lot of points. We'll see what happens this week. Spokes <laughs> player. Uh, of course, they're going to be playing Madden ultimate team, which is my favorite mode. And hopefully uh, we'll get to see some great action here. Of course, if Derwin happens to get up big here, we're going to have you folks out there in the chat. We'll show you some rules here that uh, if he does get up big, that you guys can are able to uh, kind of pick out those rules. And of course, that number one is limiting those downs here in the Derwin rules. We've seen him get up big. We've had a tough time picking out the rules, so we've laid them out for you. Number one, we'll limit his downs. Number two, we'll sub in that backup quarterback. And number three, he cannot pass the ball. So if he's up 28 or something, Smokes player, we're really going to lay all three of those on him at some point. Man, look, I, I, I hope we don't get to that, Scott. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the last two weeks, they haven't been great, you know. But I was encouraged listening to Darius until he started talking about Mad 96. I was like, that was before... <laughs> Truck stick, it hit stick. No, um, no, no, come on, come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I come on, come on. That, it's, that, it was that, only three buttons, it's a much yeah, more buttons now, but he's gonna it, pick it you up, you know. And it's a lot more going on in Madden 20. <laughs> so, you know, Darius had me a little scared, but hey, man, I'm thinking OG can take care of his business, you know, and 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 dig deep and get whatever he did to get me winning the Madden Bowl, he can do it tonight. Well, let's kick it off. Week three of Derwin James versus the world. Little baby's gone down. Well, we saw Quavo last week. I, I didn't gain any fans last week uh, with Quavo. <laughs> uh, we are no oh, longer on man, speaking even, terms, but here we oh, go. Man, Darius even. Rucker got his fins up here as he takes the opening kickoff past the 20 to the 23-yard line, and that's where he'll start, Toad player. Okay, that's where you're going to start. We're going to kick this off since he got his Dolphins. Darius, I want to know, when it, when is it time for Tua? <laughs> I, it's already time, but I, I'm going to – Fitzmagic's doing all right. I'm not going to be mad at Fitzmagic. He, he's doing all right, but I think it's Tua time already. I think – I mean, you know, one and two, play him. Okay, okay. I get so you're playing him at one and two. Oh, yeah, see, absolutely. Look, okay, uh, it ain't starting. starting we got an early please. timeout by Derwin. What's okay. going on over there? Durbin still putting the audibles in? Yeah, man, I got to get it together over here. Oh, that's messed up right there. <laughs> oh. Got to get it together over here, man. Uh-oh, we got Dan Marino in there. I know you love you some Dan Marino, Darius. I know that. that. That got to be what a fumble that? in the first place. Uh-oh. Oh, this going to be, be a flood right here. This is going to be a flood. <laughs> oh, my God. What was that? Well, it, it wasn't I don't a turnover. Know. I don't know, but this ain't so 96. This is not 96. Start. All right, yeah, Darius, I think we need to run the ball to start. You know, that was a little. I think we need to pick a run and play. Let's get our feet wet. You don't, hey, he those might actually do it. Those used to be pretty good back in the day. <laughs> See, Scott, I know my guy, JD, won a few. Pick, man. I was there when Eric Berry won the last one. Uh-huh. A you few know, years yeah. back, Super Bowl 50. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hopefully, hopefully we don't start no arguments today, man. Keep a clean game. No, no, hopefully, hopefully you don't start no arguments, DJ. It was all on you. No, nah, that you was know? y'all last week, man. Y'all started them arguments last week, man. 
Oh, here we go. It's you. You got. I was learn. in the crossfire. That's all I'm saying. Oh, Scott, man, he didn't let you make it at all. <laughs> oh, Here's the oh, third thing. Oh, okay. hey, Lolo, check down. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. What's he gonna do? Decisions. Ah. Decisions. Okay. Uh oh. If I hit the right guy with a touchdown. Oh, what are you okay. thinking here, Darius? Are we going for it? No. No, nah, Darius ain't, Darius ain't <laughs> playing like that. Darius played real football. Darius <laughs> seen what happened to Quavo. Darius ain't doing that. Uh, Here's oh, Tyreek Hill for Derwin James. I know you use a Coming juke. Coming up to the 30-yard line. Mean. Where's my 4-3? <laughs> Who gave me the 3-4? I'm mad at you. <laughs> oh, 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 I got some three confidence, player. Darius. I'm a 4-3 hey. player. I, I like just That's the fact that he punted the ball and he didn't, you know, come out there trying to trying to win the game on one play like we've seen the previous two weeks, Scott. Uh, he is old. He is old school. I think the 4-3 was popular back in 1996. Oh yeah. See what Derwin does on his opening drive. They both have Dan Marino. There's Barry Sanders. He'll handle it for a few. Which, which is not fair. Not fair. He shouldn't be allowed to have the greatest player ever. Oh, Dan Marino is the right. greatest player ever, Darius, with no Super Bowls, ever. too? No, I think right. he's saying Barry Sanders, I think. Barry Sanders greatest or Dan Marino? Ever. What are you talking about, Darius? Dan Marino, Dan Marino, greatest player ever. All right, Darius, so Dan Marino or Tom Brady? Dan Marino. Oh, my God. That, that's like, Greatest player not to win a Super Bowl, good. maybe? Yeah, I'll give him that. I, I'll no, give him I that. Think that's Come on. Up there. Come on! That's the ball. And that's a dippity dot. Um, Ooh, when he drops it. He uh -oh. dropped it. I got a possession that, man. I'm not. Oh, uh, man. I'm staying as even kill as I can, spokes player. I'm, I'm not going either way. I'm not oh, poking me any either. bears. All, all, me either. And all I'm seeing right now is uh, DJ just just, just uh, picked up himself off the couch a little bit. Oh, and that's scary on. for the opponent. <laughs> I had to... This is crazy. That's BS. Whenever he starts. Right back to it. Whenever Sounds he starts getting down. straight up and stops leaning back in his chair, you know what time it is. A little game face there on third down. Third down back. We got Darius Mr. Rucker taking time. on Derwin James here in week three. Derwin has outscored his opponents 97 to three. So that's something for Quavo. I saw that. I, that. I, saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. And we got screens coming. Screen game. I know y'all see that. He's running the screen on me. He's running the screen. I gotta keep. I gotta keep you patient, man. You know what I'm saying? He's running the screen on me. I think that's the first time we've seen the screen since 1996. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a time and a place. That was a good time. Good place. Yeah, you know. And I, and I like the way Darius is very Come you know, on, calm, man. calm, poised. You know, I'm gonna keep giving the man he animation. Drops it again. Look, I, I, Darius on, has got we some drop, closing speed out dots. there on D. Oh okay. man, Let, let's not talk too early now, Scott. You no, know what I'm happened not. last I'm time? Not, I'm not. Yeah, I'm yeah, taking yeah, it one play at a time. One play at a time. Go, 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 go be jigs to me. Yeah, we and we definitely know Derwin does have slow starts, you know, but then when he starts raining. You know, it rains, it pours, I would have to say. I see another FSU guy out got. there, James. A little, little Dalvin Cook? Yeah, he was Okay. Yeah, he was complaining about Barry, so we put my boy Dalvin out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was complaining about Barry. Oh, yeah. And Derwin, speaking of, speaking of FSU, speaking of FSU. That's a hey, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't do us like that, man. Don't do us like that, man. Don't do it. No, I got to ask this, DJ. Don't talk about my nose, man. The 50 burger, <laughs> you know, the you put a 50 burger on y'all this weekend, man. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, that didn't sit right with me at all, man. That's one team I don't like to lose to, man. Them in the Florida I, Gators, know, man. It makes me think maybe you should have just went to Miami. Nah, 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 nah. We know Blake forever now. Nah, nah. <laughs> That don't even that don't even sound right. That don't even you know that don't go to the right. went to I Florida think, State. That's a I basketball think, school, right? Yeah, but but see the yeah, no, come and, on and now. Scott, hey, watch the your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, the reason I'm saying it sound right because Derwin reminds me of Sean Taylor, so I'm Pitt. thinking, you know, oh my oh, yeah. goodness. The, Miami the Hurricane. Yeah, that's my oh favorite my God. Uh oh. 
And there's yeah, Atwater. Gonna Speaking gonna of great flood. safeties. It's going to be a flood. No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I've got you right It's going to be a flood. You. I told you this I ain't 96. I got you right where I want you. I got you right where Darius, I want you. I, Darius, I need you to dig down and dig deep to that magic I got him you right had in 96. I got him right where I want him. Dig deep. <laughs> Close 96. to the red zone after the pick. He's actually in the red zone at the 19, first and 10. A little bit of a motion. Away, Dan Marino. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Darius, that was a throw you know, my guy. I, was I talked away. to him about his team in college. Now I'm going to talk to him about yours because I heard about you. Uh -oh. And, you know, South Carolina, you know, and uh, Tennessee, they took the W this weekend. How you feel about that? Uh, I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's like, I want to play some defense in the red zone, if that's cool. <laughs> okay. Interception! Okay. Come on! I'm just saying, you know, Darius, you, know, you, you South that was Carolina a tough game, man. and Miami Dolphins. That was a tough game. That, that was a South tough Carolina game. South Carolina and Miami Dolphins, I mean, it's that's not a, a lot combo. to celebrate for you on Saturday and Sundays. That's a tough combo. That, right now, it I, is. I agree. All I will say, I agree. <laughs> That's all I can say. Is I agree. Okay. <laughs> well, we got a third and ten here. Can Darius Rucker hold Derwin to a field goal? Marino. Uh oh. You Ooh, know he what? Dropped. Hey, Darius. I'm gonna yeah. make the game interesting, man. I didn't come. I didn't come to kick. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a chance to get a start. You, you do what you feel oh. in your heart. You do <laughs> yeah. what you feel in your heart. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. If he throws right this here, out route again, I'm gonna throw up. If he, nah, if he hits like it, 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 if he hits it, ain't nothing I can do. It look like it's a big two. fourth down, folks. Player. Oh, it's big. It's big, man. This this could change the game right here and the momentum, Scott. I didn't hit that. Danny Marino. I, I mean, come on now. He's got one play. First down at the three. See how calm you gotta be. Just that be, that be was calm, covered, just man. Be. That was covered. <laughs> That and was just covered. Be, like, you know what I'm saying? Just. That was straight covered. Relax. All right, this should be a walk we knew, Let's go, Cook. We knew we were going to the cheese. You know. Let's go, Cook. Derwin has not given up a touchdown no. this season. Oh nope. That's a big hit. That'll push him back two yards. Run like this. Why they letting him stop my run like this? Hey, Darius came to play. Look, he got that 96 defense for you, Dirk. That's right. It was a great defense in 96. I got no idea. Um, I think the Packers won that Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. They did. They did. Brett Favre. Rur, rur, rur. Yeah. Derwin won't remember that. That's when he was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Derwin, what's the first Super Bowl he you dropped. remember watching? Well, uh, the Bucks. I, I think the Bucks had one in like 03 or one or something. Okay, that was that was a great team. That was definitely a great. That's team. the first one I rem like remember. Come on, cup. Oh, low throw. Uh -oh. Hey, same thing, man. Hey, you got, a, you got another time. opportunity. You know why that makes you know why that makes sense, Derwin? That that would be the first Super Bowl you remember. Because the safety went off that game. Dexter Jackson. He was a safety for the Bucks. He had like three picks. I think he got the yeah. two goals in yeah. Quick throw, yeah. and it's John, a goal John line Lynch. stand for Darius Everybody, Rucker. They had a, they had a, they had yeah, a stick so out there, man. It, it, it makes sense that that would be the first Super Bowl you remember because the Bucks were dominated by great safety play. I think that's the first turnover mm -hmm. on downs we've had in three weeks of play for Derwin James. I think no, I helped I, him I, talk to Derwin. It'll, it'll turn into a safety. <laughs> I like that. It was a I had I had Derwin thinking about his childhood for a minute. Yeah, I, I got. I, uh, see, I, I got a cool little baby, man. I can't week. let you talk to me, man. I got to get my zone. <laughs> Come on, DJ. Don't do <laughs> I'm finna like pull the little baby <laughs> card, man. I'm finna pull the quick little man. baby card, man. No <laughs> talking to me, man. I got to lock in, man. Oh, yo, Derwin, I see. You know, you officially nervous a little bit, cause hey. Darius came with that nah, defense. No hey, man, I see him. Nah, he, he's going to end up being bad. But can you see him right now? He is he is standing straight up off his couch, eyes up, locked in. 
I, I feel like Darius is on a big screen. You know what I mean? There's a lot of it's like a 65 uh, inch screen, something like nah, that. Something I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go 85 inch, Scott. 85, 85 yeah. Inch. Uh -oh. I don't even think he tried to throw that. You tried Woo! to throw that. First I, down, Darius. You play your game. I think you just hiked it too many times, bro. You play your game. I think you hiked too many times on that one, bro. You play your game. I'll play mine. I'm saying, did you try to throw it though? Yes, I did. He tried to throw it. There's no way he tried. There's no way he tried to throw that just then. Uh oh, 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 oh. Barry! Oh. Uh oh, Barry. Getting slippery out one. there. Getting slippery, Derwin. I think I think I see a little sweat on Derwin's forehead. I I'm not sure. Maybe the pixels on my TV messed up. Kind of like that Miami went back to these kind of <laughs> old school uniforms. Oh, oh, like it, man. Winning, man. I get out. What's wrong? Why is it not working? My controls are not working. You gotta pause the game. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. I can't do it. Hit the pause button. Okay, I'll, no, delay, I'll, tell, I'll decline the penalty. I'm gonna decline it for you. You good? You good? You good? It be doing that sometimes. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we get? A, can we get a battery check? Battery check. Is it the battery? No, I, I see the light on. I see the light on. So the light is on. <laughs> yeah, the the light's on. yeah, the light's on. I got. Gary, you so hot good, right dude. now. You didn't burn no, the controller. No, it's working. It's working now. That's right. Right. He declined it. We're good. I like the sportsmanship. Hey, Darius, I think it's some, you, you hot right now. You done messed up the controller. That, that's exactly what it is. It's the thunder. He's feeling the thunder. Uh-oh, the thunder. I like that, the thunder. So under three minutes to go in the half, Darius Rucker could go down here and tie the ball game. Second and seven. All kind of tight ends in there. Oh, that's a lot I of didn't stop that. Damn, Marino. Yeah, See, you. there is. I th you just gotta take your time, man. Take your time. We can't get it all in one play. You know this. You know this. Coach him up. He don't want to hear me right now. No, no. That's been a common theme. Yeah. Don't nobody want to listen to me, Scott. Ain't that something? <laughs> But you know, formation to the right. The best thing about it is when somebody's mad at me, they turn on you first. <laughs> I know, right? Well, what's with Come that? On, make a play! Make a play! Make a play! We need we need that user pick, Darius. We need the we need the switch on and the catch. Uh, yeah, we. I don't we, want to say anything because yeah, he's actually playing do. really good. So I'm just not gonna say anything. <laughs> I like how intense Darius is, though. He's so intense. <laughs> You watch a lot of Gamecock football and Dolphins football. You know the mistakes. You know how to correct them. Yes, I do. I don't know about knowing how to correct them. I know about <laughs> knowing the mistakes. <laughs> Come on, play. defense. Just, just Bo Jackson. No big deal. Darius, I just want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, will scare you right now, but I want to let you know that at this point in the game, you are by far the closest to Derwin <laughs> score-wise anybody has ever been. You ain't getting there again. Uh-oh. Well, X-Factor on the outside. Coming up on the two-minute warning is a first and 10 at the 38 for our very own Derwin James. Scott, I think I... Scott, I think I see some doubt in Derwin's eyes. I think I see a little doubt. A little, a little doubt. Come on, man. Hey, this is, I man, I, I ain't never seen Derwin like this before. It's a walk in the park, man. It's a walk I feel like park, Darius has, has has absorbed the first punch and has shown that he has a strong chin. I don't know. We're at the two-minute warning. Just... We're a pick six away from having a tie game. Come on! Oh! And a oh! big time sack. Sack him up. Uh oh. <laughs> Start to believe. There he is. I love it. I love it. Intercept that. Yeah, baby. Come on. Marino. Oh, oh, come on. On. oh. Oh, my goodness. There you go, <laughs> man. That 96 Madden Bowl. <laughs> Really is the X Factor right now. Darius, you remember who you played yeah. in the Madden Bowl? 
Who knocked you out? Do you remember? I, it, was, it was Ricky. It was Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams. Rick, all right. That's a, okay, and that's a. He was he, a that was before back he then. was a Dolphin. Yeah. Come on. Mike Mike Dick had drafted him to the Saints. Oh, that's BS. And no. In college, yeah, was, it would have been a his, catch. That was caught. That was caught. How did you feel? I can't get him. How break. did you feel? Darius, ask, answer me this question. How did you feel when the Dolphins had that wildcat with Ricky Williams and Ronnie Brown? That was fun. That was fun. That, that yeah, was, oh, fun that was for great a times, huh? Yeah, you remember that? That, that, that was some great times. <laughs> I do remember that. Then next year, the wildcat never worked again. Oh, yeah. You know, Bill Belichick only needs one year, Scott. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? He waited for Derwin to pass Derwin up as the user in the middle of the field. Delivered a good by, ball. By the way, we got our own statistician, Donnie Moore, says he lost to Reggie oh, Brooks. Reggie Brooks, that's who it was. In 96. Reggie Brooks, a former fighting Irish running back. Reggie Brooks. Wow. There's you really been in, in this game a long time. They should put you in the game. <laughs> Worth like inches, he's going out. for it. And how, do I, how, do I, how do I call time out? Do you have to. Uh oh. Uh, it's like it's like select. You... Press start. Just press select. start and, and and press timeout and go the, to timeout. I, 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 I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Come on. How You're do I call time out? I think you need it. I think we you got need some a press tech guys start. on the side there. I know they're good at setting up you need cameras. A press start they and with... time out yourself. Press start and time out yourself. He's running this clock. This is valuable time. No, he did not. Be brutal. No, he, he throws did it not. to the end zone and it's and picked. It's... That's Darius. points, Darius. We we could have had a field goal. Darius, you got to press start. Once you press start, you can go. You can Where's manually start? call the timeout. Where is start? Let's start on this. I mean, I, I think it should say start on the button. Start is oh, right is. at the Xbox button. Select I got you. I got you now. I got you. I got you now. See, Select. I'm, I got I'm you. here to help, baby. I'm here to help. <laughs> Coach him up. All right, final seconds here of the half. We we all know. Back him up, there. Is. Take That's him all I'm telling end. you. Back him up. Goes underneath. Just one timeout remaining. Ten seconds. We might have a one-score game here at the half. And ain't that some? Ain't that some? Looks like the halftime show coming up with Charlie look at, here. Look at Darius dropping them back. <laughs> and that's incomplete. Final play of the half. Back him up, Darius. Back him up. Darius, question. If you were on the game right now, what would your speed be? I would be about, <laughs> uh, I'd be about, um, I bet I could run about an 8, 7, uh -oh. 40 right now. Uh-oh. Well, this is oh, bad. Oh, I turned right into him. What you got, Honey Badger? Oh, Still on his feet. Oh. Stop and go. Uh-oh. And if one of y'all can get a... Get Derwin us a pause got... here at halftime. Man, I think oh, I think that that that, for the second half, that's... man. If I had known I would call timeout, if I had known I would call timeout, it'd be 7-7. Seven, seven. All Ooh. right. Let's separate. Man. Well, the excuses are a bridge to it. nowhere. You got, got some halftime to think about it. Derwin, he has been playing Madden <laughs> since you were born. So what I need, I need yeah, 21. Pretty good what, half. What'll make you satisfied? How, how many points will we make just you need satisfied? A, if you guys can pause it after this this uh, this kickoff here, we'll get to our halftime show with Charlie. Mm -hmm. And that's how we are going to start our halftime. We're going to pause it right there, if you would. Thank you so much. It's seven nothing. Okay. Derwin James with the lead, and we got the opportunity to go back to Charlie. Charlie. All right. All right. All right, seven nothing. I think that that score is is reasonable, Darius. I respect it. I guys, I see you trade interceptions there at the end of the game or the end of the half, rather. Uh, so I'm excited to see what comes about in this second half. Uh, but look, before we get to that second half, let's see what you missed earlier on in tonight's show. Now, earlier tonight.
Ruggs defeated Kayla Von Chasen of the Jags 31 to 6. Ruggs even tried to score on fourth and goal from the three yard line with three seconds to go. That's how good he was feeling. Ruggs really has been killing his opponents. So he remains our king of the hill now going into our fourth week of action. And now who knows, we may just have to turn him into a Madden pro. Well, as soon as the Raiders stop really needing him to play for them on the actual field. So we'll see how that goes. Not sure that's actually going to happen. Now, taking a look at our ladder for this competition, Ruggs now has to face off against Kenneth Murray. And if he gets through that, it sets up a juicy matchup against Ruggs' former teammate at Alabama, Jerry Judy, in just a couple of weeks. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. And on the Madden Pro side of things, it was Poppin with another win. This time, it was over Clef the God in a game that came down to the wire. Now, Pavan has got $10,000 in his pocket. Next up, he'll have to face Joke, the defending Madden Bowl champion. That is going to be a great match. And Joke did defeat Pavan in the semis of the Madden Bowl earlier this year. So maybe, just maybe, Pavan has got some revenge for him. So now, I ask you, Scott and Spokes player, are we going to make things easier for Darius in the second half? I don't know. This is a good game so far. It's kind of like, you know, when your mom gives you a good recipe for a meal, you don't mess with it. You don't add to it. You keep it as it is. I think it's going pretty good right now. I thought we were going to have to break out some of these Derwin James rules, but no, we got a 7 nothing game, Spokes player. And to me, hey, Darius Rucker playing really well. Hey, I, I'm very interested to see what happens, you know, because uh, Darius is playing his tail off right now. Interested to see what happens, you know, because uh, Darius is playing his tail off right now. And, uh, I seen a little doubt in Derwin's eyes a little bit. So let's get it, Scott. I'm, I'm ready to see this second half. Just remind you of some of the rules that we happen to throw out there in case this game gets out of control. I'm not expecting it to. I'm expecting a good one here. But if so, uh, we can limit the downs for Derwin. We can make him put in his backup quarterback or even say he cannot pass. If we get to that moment, be ready out there in the chat because we might be counting on you to vote in on that. Let's start the second half. Seven, nothing is the score. All right, let's go. And it's Erwin James just up by a touchdown. So if you guys want to restart and get it going. At some point, we got to find out about this uh, new album that Darius is working on. But I, I kind of don't want to mess with things right now, Spokes player. I'm just kind of enjoying watching. Well, yeah, you, we got to pick up. After, gotta... after I get this win, I'm going to have to write a song for Derwin. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh, oh. You know, Darius. I was just trying not to get to the right? rules. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying not to get to the implement rules. But it's okay. Darius, it's, it's crazy okay. you say this, right? Because look, you done done country, pop, rock, R and B. My question is, do you have any rap songs in the vault that you just never released? <laughs> you don't want me to do that. <laughs> man, no, Dan, I think you got that. some bars, man. I do I think, think he's got, got some, bars. some bars. All we need is 16. Uh, That's not too much. Uh, I, I could probably drop 16. <laughs> just tell me, in that, in that laptop somewhere, it ain't a rap song for real? <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> hey, not for me. I think we need to. I think we need to see the rap song, man. You're too talented as a musician. You could do it all. I know you can rap. Well, I'm formation. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Going. No, he's not going downtown. And boy, so many drop passes. Five of seventeen. Man, I, I never. I never seen. Are you okay? I've never seen as many drops. I, I think what's happening is you've you never, seen defense, you never seen defense like this. Uh oh, well, talk nah. your stuff then, Darius. Yeah, let's get out of the D way. D Ruck. That's you. You D Ruck now. That's that D Ruck. <laughs> yeah. Shotgun, second to 10. Come on! Marino. Yeah, that's knocked away again. Marino. Darius is so in Five of And I love it. There is the so it's right now. I just have three interceptions right now. I just, I'm getting cheated. Darius, are you this intense on the golf course as well? No, very laid back on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just making sure. You haven't seen their event in Myrtle Beach. It's pretty laid back. Pretty, pretty okay. laid back. I just thought I just thought maybe he might miss a bird and he's like, come on! 
Oh. That's knocked away again. Fourth down. What you gonna do, Derwin? Now this right here. You know I can't can make point, the game fun, man. At this point right here, Scott, this is the biggest play of Derwin versus right now. Yeah, oh absolutely. <laughs> Thousand percent. Where's my agree. defense? I can't find my defense. Let's go. Well, here's fourth down again. This is huge. Needs to get to the 45. Reno barking out the orders. Stop that BS. Stop crap. Little play action, <laughs> and it's a first down. Derwin James cross midfield. And here's the hurry up. Little tempo, smoke player. Man, my, I'm not gonna lie, I was uh -oh. scared there, Scott. I was scared. My heart was beating you know out why? my chest. <laughs> you know, but then you I had to realize, Derwin, we, yeah. when, when the going gets tough, Derwin is gonna attack that outside. That's what he's gonna well, do. He's smoke not player, we made it to the second half, and the, the guest, Darius Rucker, hasn't yelled at us yet. He's not mad at us. We're improving. Yes, we're definitely improving. We, but you know, the game is not over, Scott. It is not That's over. That's right, it's not. Quick throw to the outside. Almost stripped. There is a man doing a lot of yelling at Oxen Phil. He can, he can get hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to looking at Dermot James's little camera box there, seeing that big old, big old smile. Uh -huh. I haven't seen a lot of it, but he goes right man, back you know to the first half. <laughs> you know, we're going to smile. You know what I'm saying? We're going to lock in. All positive yeah, we, vibes. We, we got seven-point game. Two touchdowns, man. You know, I'm not complaining. Defense came to play. Offense tripping right now. I ain't tripping, though. You know what I'm saying? Never panic. Just play the game. And the running game is working. There's Bo Vincent Jackson. Former Heisen winner. Touchdown, Derwin. Never panic. Just play the game. We're just going to put it on the ground. We dropping too many passes, man. You no, got, that you got definitely... too many passes being knocked out of your hands. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's all good. We just got to keep the goose egg out there. You know what I mean? That's 10 plays, 81 yards. Keep the Two goose egg. That's all we chasing. I got Darius, him right where I want him. <clears throat> Darius, hypothetically, if we were to put you in Madden, what position would you want to play? Uh, trainer. I'd be a trainer. <laughs> hey, that's real right there, man. Hey, that's real. That's real now. That's real now, dude. That's real, my guy. Oh, boy. We need a score oh. here from Darius. 14 to nothing. You know, but this this is where, you know, Derwin is, is best at. Whenever he yeah. gets a score... He starts to turn it up, and that's when he starts to feel himself. And then his defense gets alive, and then that's when the interceptions come out. That's a sack. Sack him up. Uh oh. Uh oh. People are always trying to. People are always trying to match Derwin's scores with a score very fast, and then that's when they turn the ball over. I feel like Darius should at least have three points. Yeah, definitely. But you know, what is that? How could I, I not get that? that? Kick that. You know go that for it. You know you should have got that. You might well go for it, man. <laughs> All I'm saying is I hope Dan Marino's not watching. Because on oh. both sides, it's been yeah. rough. It's no, been Dan, real rough through hey, the year. Hey, Dan Marino, it, it's not looking good for Dan right now. <laughs> Goes for not the bad, Dan. pooch punt. We're going we're gonna to stick to this. Let me see if he can stop this. Let me see. This is the... Uh, Speaking it's of a big possession. Speaking of Dan hey, Darius, Marino, we're running to Darius. the right now. We're running to the right, right. Darius. I'm ready. Okay. Bring it. Meet okay. me over there. Meet me over there. Meet me over there. Uh -oh. Meet me over there. How was that? Get wide. Uh, you won there. Oh. You won there. <laughs> no, there. You weren't there. I'm running. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna run it one more time to the right. I'm going to the right. Stretch. Meet me over there. I ain't lying to you. We got to get out you of this matchup defense. defense. Hey, you ain't right, boy. <laughs> he running to the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I just see what he's gonna do. You gonna tell Darius your play? Hey, he you gonna, gonna show you, me, bro? All right. I'm gonna give him a little option this time for being greedy. I'm gonna oh, give him something. Look, I knew he was gonna do it. I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick a him. RPO. Uh oh. Cooks. 
Uh, Afterburns. Can that water get there? Yeah, the first him out of bounds at the eight. I know you're going to say something. We've had one goal line stand, Darius. We need another one. We definitely need hey, another one. Meet me to the right, right man. Stretch right. Stretch right. Meet me to the right. Meet me to the right. Meet me over there. There you go. Oh! Oh! Right, oh! Big hit. Put your fours up in the chat. We're headed to the fourth in a 14 nothing game. Both defenses have come to play. We got man. Nah, man. It is man. Let's get even. Uh oh. Yeah. Let's get even. We got man. Switches the formation. Cook dots the eye. Oh my gosh. Come on, Cook. Come on, Cook. Uh oh. That's a good play. That's a good play. Derwin James said he wasn't going to kick all game, so this is touchdown or nothing. Touchdown the bus right I'm here. I'm not going to let him go up 17. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And the little wheel. Oh. Down at one. Fourth and goal. This is it. it. Oh, this is it right here. It. Darius Rucker, Derwin James. This is it here in the fourth. We need a stop. Is Darius, is, is, is Derwin going to his bread and butter? What is he doing? Come on, come on, come on, Derwin. It's fourth down. Tell us to play. What is it? <laughs> fourth down. Uh, All right. What's the play? Toss. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. Good start, Derwin. And he tosses oh. it. And what a oh. play. Loss of go, nine. Uh -huh. So you're saying there's a chance. Nope. Make, make it a game, Darius. There you go, my guy. I'm not going to lie, though. <laughs> Derwin defense is just too tough, man. I haven't seen anybody uh, yeah. score on him. It's, it's, it's not even been close. Oh, no. What, what are you looking Three points. Now in 11 quarters Derwin, of play. what you looking for? That pick six, ain't you? Yeah, it's gonna it's, it's gonna it's gonna make it look like it went close when I get this pick. But he's yeah, running. I don't know why he's running down 14. He running down 14. Yeah. Move that line yeah. down. Crash him down. Running crash game him, starting to work here for Darius. That boy's crash. Where oh, you going? Oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> he tied. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> See what tied, had man. happened was. He tied, I didn't say that, man. He tied, man. I didn't say that, man. You ran no hard three times. You can't that run. Was BF. <laughs> that was BS. That was BS, man. I had it. I was doing it. And you glitching me. You glitching me. You glitching me. You <laughs> 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 all glitching me. Oh, you glitching oh me. Oh, my God. I can't believe you all glitching me like that. He glitching you. Darius, he glitching you, you, know? you ain't scoring this Somebody game. Somebody glitched you. you're not scoring this game now. <laughs> Somebody glitched you. Darius, I'm just impressed you know what glitching is, man. I really am. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm impressed. Because I don't think they were talking about glitching in the 96 Mad. We had the Come game, Jimmy. That was back in the day. We can't kick the ball. Go for it. You can't punt and now, here bro. comes work down. This might be fourth in the game. Oh, uh, you know, Scott, he better than me because I'll punt it and just say, you know what, I'm going to make it 14 0 for sure. <laughs> we got to get We didn't set kick. a spread, but right now I think he's beating the spread. No, we got to cut. We got to. No, we, gonna, we got a 21 0 it. You know what I'm saying? Close to the marker. Zero, we give up I'm the still, gonna be a turn over on the spread. I'm crushing the spread. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, 21 0 well, the, spread was, like, the double. the spread was like 40. The spread was like 40. <laughs> nah, nah, mm -hmm. The spread. I mm -mm. ain't gonna lie, Derwin. The spread is a uh, twenty-one and a half. Mm -mm. All right. So less. you gotta score and go for two. Oh my gosh! Why am I oh, oh, like oh, that? Quick look, throw! Look at the game! And oh! 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 It's Darius Rucker. Hey. We got a we got a one hey, score game. Crazy, Come on. 
Oops. I, I can't make this up, oh, bro. Come on! My God. Oh my God! I'm not believing. Fourteen to seven. Hey, Darius, you want me this... to point it to you? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, oh, Derwin! Derwin <laughs> if you want to play, you you want Derwin, to play. Derwin, I want to see that. Ball. That's must see TV. Darius, you want me to point it to you? I want to make the show interesting, man. You want me to point it to you? Hey, you know what? I, you know what? I like that. I like that. Hold but on, this is the thing. If he, if he punted to you, Darius, see. if you score, you got to go for two. You got to go for the win. Well, he's going to hand uh -oh. it off. Darius, you want me to punt it to you or what? Darius, you want me to punt oh, you it to come you? Come on, bring it. I don't want you to punt, punt it to me. I want you to keep running. I say punt it. Girl, when I say punt it, but it's the thing, Darius, if you score, right. you got to go for two. No overtime. Deal. You got to go right, for the win. Two-minute warning. Derwin's going to punt it away. And we're going to have a two-minute drill by Darius no, Rucker to no, win the game. You I want you, you Derwin don't want right to punt it, y'all. Derwin don't want to punt it. Derwin do not want to punt it. Derwin, you better do something. You better do something. <laughs> Derwin does not want to punt. I'm going to show right, you on the field. I'm going to show you on the special teams. I'm going to show you I don't see you. You'll be able to tell your grandkids. I will show you right now. You saw Derwin James punt it. I'm gonna here show you, you go. right now. Bring it, bring it. Yeah, here you go. Here uh, you go, your ball. Scott, let's do it. Why am I, why am I so scared your right ball. now, Scott? Your ball. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. And you got it at 35. There you go. Great you field position. 154 to go. Does Darius have an upset in him? Summon your inner oh. Dan Marino. What is that? Five wide. Well, he, Going well, to the air. No. I'm going to give him the ball. Second and ten. Still plenty Darius, of time. He's he got three timeouts here. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Darius, if you score right here, I promise you tomorrow, I'm going to have some a beer and some sunshine, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Have those two things, it's a good day. Yes, sir. He empties the backfield. I'm out of bounds. Darius to the outside. There's Finley again. Clock's on the move. Derwin doesn't seem rattled. He does not. You know, Game I'm looking at him. still on for Darius. Both these guys got the game face on. Marino. And checks it down. Finley again. It's a first down and more. And there's a timeout. I got a question out there. Y'all nervous? <laughs> you nervous? My, my qu I, I got a question for you. Are you nervous, What's DJ? Up? <laughs> you nervous? Nah. It got it to be I'm in you. You know what I'm saying? It can't be on you. It gotta be on. It gotta yeah. be in. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I'm a little nervous. It's a big you play. Know. I don't know what. To the outside. Can he get out of bounds? He does. Clock stopped. 106 to go. Ball to 37. I'm. I'm a little nervous. And it's caught Drop. at the 28. Clock oh, on the caught. move. Goes no huddle. Still going on help. It needs a touchdown. Thank you. Oh! Are you kidding me? And oh it's in and out. His hand clock stop. There's. Did we find out how to call timeout? Because this is important. Yeah, I did. This is I important did. for these next couple of seconds. Yeah, right. he did. He he's doing it the manual way, Scott. But, All right. Hey, yeah. 1996 would be proud. Yes. <laughs> Watch out, Marino again. That's for the gusto. Third and ten. Man, he is playing with Rob Woodson right now, and I don't like it. <laughs> 
trips to the left. Can the Dolphin fan of Darius Rucker have Dan Marino? This this is so Carry intense, to Scott. A I mean, <laughs> oh come on! Well, and he's out of bounds. That Darius catch will not some... count. Fourth and ten. This is the final. Are you going to go the for the out. touchdown or the first down? I'm going you for the win. You got two timeouts now. You got two <laughs> timeouts. You, go, you got two timeouts. You can go for the first down if you want to. It's a big play. Marino That's has a, a great man. Play. First down. We need Come a on. Why is it doing this to me? Press it won't the let line, me call the timeout. To the left. It won't let me call the timeout. Button. The other First button. Start. Up, up. Yeah! Oh, He's my goodness, no. oh, my goodness, no. <laughs> hey, no. 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 Oh, my God. No, no, no. no. I got cheated. Show, you know good I got show, cheated. Man. <laughs> you know I got cheated. <laughs> good show, man. Hey, no, no, man. We just Great count the show. W's, man. Great show, man. I got cheated. I got cheated. Oh, my God. Hey, I got cheated. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was a little scared because I was like, if Dirt would lose, do we keep the show? Because I want to I wanna keep going. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, hey, no, don't do this. We just make it fun, you know? Because, look, he's going to be so like, mad right now, man. I was like, Darius, fun, man. We Darius nine, versus we're nine just for 24, the man. Come on, man. Nine for 24. Man, I, I had like, four. I need to I had. That seven. was defense. Dory, that was the defense James I was playing with. Win? And with that, we go back Do to Charlie. Charlie, take it away. Scott, thank you so much. Now I'm here with Derwin. We've got Darius. We've also got Spokes player. And I have one word, and that's wow. Derwin, Darius was by far your most formidable opponent that you have played so far in the show. Was this game, and please be honest with me, much closer than you thought it was going to be? Yeah, I thought I was going to flood him, but, you know, Madden just had a way <laughs> of being mad. Are you kidding so, me? You know, it was closer than I expected, but, you know, we just get a W. That's it. Nobody cares. Yeah, you, you, you still you still got Nobody the W, but look, you were nervous. You were nervous. Oh no, nah, I wasn't nervous. Oh, I punted cool. on the ball. I, I wasn't nervous. I punted it to him. And I, I had the ball. I could have needed out. I could I could have need the ball out. I had a first down. I just punted it to him, make it a game. Game been over. <laughs> yeah, he, he punted it. All right, he, all right. he punted. He punted it. He punted it so I because he didn't want me to stop him, and then he would have to punt it. So I understand. I was oh, coming man. for you. It was third and I one. I was coming for you. I was coming for you, <laughs> Darius. <laughs> talk about that final sequence of plays for your team. First of all, I couldn't call timeout, which was bad, and I got the playoff <laughs> and make the perfect pass. I make the perfect pass. And he drops it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Because I was going for two. I was going for two. Don't think I wasn't. I was going for two. Look, I mean, I think a lot of people out there, Darius, are very pleasantly surprised at your skills. I mean, look, I'm I'm not a hater or anything like that, but I just was not expecting you to bring it oh, to Derwin like you did. I understand. You see him sweating in there too, right? Show close to his head. He's sweating. I got a sweat. Hey, man. I think. I, I, think, I think. I think. Hey, I think my AC people forgot to come through. You know, they got to come through right now. Out of here. That last play. That was the play right there. Even my cameraman sweating. Even my cameraman sweating behind the scenes right now. You know? All, all y'all sweat because you were scared. You were scared that I was coming for you. All y'all sweating. <laughs> he's gonna keep de game, he's gonna man. keep denying it, but Darius, I think he I think you had him a little bit on the edge of his seat. So <sighs> I'm gonna side with you yeah. on that one. Um so I guess you you've gotta send Derwin a CD now though. Yeah, I'll say I'm gonna send him a yeah, whole box of stuff. Me, that was a good game. That. I will. That was a good game, man. All right, all right, I like that. Yeah, guys, Absolutely. great game. You both played awesome and Derwin. You look, you now have been prepped. You, you know, you, I feel like you've gotten like, you know, a little bit of more of a stiff competition now. So 
Now, do you know who you're playing next week? Uh, it don't matter. You know, we're just trying to come get the W. That's all we're chasing. Okay, well, Three I will tell man. you who you're playing next week. This will be your opponent for next week, Lil Yachty. So, Darius, what advice do you have for Derwin's next opponent, Lil Yachty? Lil Yachty, play the nickel. Play straight zone. He can't play against the zone. All he got is the out. All he got is the out to 88. That's all he's got. Ooh. And a little swing pass to Dabble Cook. A little swing pass to Dabble Cook. You take those away, you got him. That's all he's got. That's all he's got. That's all he's got. <laughs> Respect, you're, you are actually awesome. You are actually great. Hey, I like this man right here. Hey, man. Hey, it, was, it was fun, my guy, for sure, man. That was fun, it was man. Fun, was, man. Much that was respect, fun, man. I'm, I'm going to see, yeah, see you that anyway, man. Uh, I'm gonna say, oh, thank you. I would yeah, love that, that man. Cool. I'll definitely send those TDs to you. Yeah, I'm gonna send that to you. I'm gonna send that to you, man. I love it. Well, Darius, you know what? Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for being, you know, as cool as you are. Thanks for I'm bringing sorry. it to mm -hmm. Derwin in the God. manner that you did because we needed a competition like that. It has been too easy for Derwin. So thank you so much for that. And Derwin, obviously, great job tonight. <laughs> You're undefeated still, so, you know, you're living up to the name of the show, Derwin James versus the world. So, guys, big thank you to both of you. Spokes player, thank you to you as well. You're always bringing something special to the show as well. So, everybody, remember to tune in next week, 10 Eastern, for Derwin James versus the world, presented by Oakley. This time around with special guest Lil Yachty. And don't forget to get here early for Henry Ruggs III of the Raiders versus Derwin's teammate Kenneth Murray of the Chargers. And you know we're going to have our Madden Pros Hour with Joke taking on this week's King of the Hill, Pavin. So for Derwin James, Darius Rucker, spokes player, and Scott Cole, I'm Charlie Arnold. Everybody, see you next, year, next week right here on Madden Tuesday Night. Enjoy. Derwin James vs. The World is presented by Oakley. Level up with Prism Lens Technology. And in part, by Gillette. Go all out with an exclusive offer on NFL Team Razors at gillette.com slash Madden. The pan. The myth. The legend. The comfort food that started it all. The original pan from Pizza Hut for just $10.99. No one out pizzas the hut. Gillette Pro Glide and Pro Glide Gel. Five blades and a pivoting flex ball designed to get virtually every hair on the first stroke while washing away dirt and oil. So you start the day with a clean shave and a clean face. the ball looking downfield he's gonna have to hurdle the tiny track look at him tiptoe free oh what a spin move this dad will not be denied his hearty meat and veg campbell's chunky soup that eats like a meal matt i think i got my fantasy nights mixed up hey bill hey matt yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go you sure yeah snickers satisfies